unlocked brand new printer and we're live nice try brian hey neighbors the handyman here with initiative coffee company and this week's episode Shit on of in the red uh last time on in the red we went to a carnival yeah and we met carnival. cooper nettles uh a new big bad himbro himbo Ready to? Uh, I mean, a him, bro. I mean, let's let's, yeah, let's just let's, let's just cut it as yeah. it is. Lean into uh, it. Ready to uh, aid this this group in any way? Well, uh, he well, can. he wasn't no, really. It's not no. that he was willing so much as uh, I think. Oh, we got Morty stuff was it, already. Morty, was it you that said like, "Hey, you should join us"? And Cooper's just like, "Thank you." Okay. Thanks for following Judge Judy Slayer. That <laughs> yeah makes me uncomfortable. Please don't That's murder. An- Old ladies. Awesome uh, <laughs> oh goodness! Thanks. Judge Judy, who hates on Judge Judy like that? I don't know. So I do have a question yes. though. We well, haven't even started. How do you have questions already? He's got questions. I never got. <laughs> I never got an answer from our him, bro. So, Me? Did you want yeah. to ask your question now? Or... Proceed. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would like to say, hey, uh, are you gonna are you gonna join us? I mean, I, I think you're kind of contractually obligated at this point because of the, the little contest we had, but I just wanted to uh, <laughs> see if you wanted to join our group. Did we start? Then, are we in character already? Yeah, wait, <laughs> out of character. What contest? The uh, hammer contest. The hammer contest. Yeah. Totally won oh. it. And I said, hey, if you win. I said, if, you join if us. I win, you join oh. us. If I you win, win you, you get join to join us. us. Yeah. And you really didn't say anything from that. It was kind of oh, an awkward. He's like, got hey. an intelligence of eight, so who knows? I, that's, is that true? <laughs> okay. That's intelligence of ten. I, All right. I didn't well, think then yeah. you are that's smart why. enough to have caught that. An average, bit, I'm an average smart bear. Above You're average. above average. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh,. Oh, for a second, I thought I, like, signed some contract and forgot about it, <laughs> which wouldn't be the first time, but, uh... I got all these yeah. stats. Wait, so I, it's really all your stats to just, like, take every single stat and dump it all into strength and everything else? It's like, whoa, whoa, chill, chill, chill. Hey, Shifty Jack, Shifty Jack. resubscribes four months in a row. Shifty, Woo! yeah. And I, wow, thanks. And, and not... Not just any subscription, but an amazing Prime Gaming subscription. If you haven't heard yet, Prime Gaming, with your Amazon Prime um, oh, subscription, shit. you can get free subscriptions. I haven't said this thing in a it's while. It's basically so, you know, a free yeah. subscription to a Twitch channel. You get one a month. I if haven't you're a, said that phrase if you're in a while. a Prime subscriber to Amazon Twitch Prime, because Amazon owns Twitch. Uh, if you are a Prime subscriber, you get one free Twitch Prime every month. Oh, how come Jake um, had to give me one last and month? And even though I'm it's free for you, days. we still get the same amount that we would get from a regular subscription. So yeah, uh, you know why you didn't get one? Will promote you giving us those. You gotta um, get well, all that money because you're trying. Videos. You were unsubscribed. And you tried using the new emote, and you looked like a dang fool without it. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to we had to remove that garbage. So uh, you couldn't figure out how to use the emote, and the way to use the emote is to subscribe to our Twitch channel that you have. Did it? Yet. There it is. It. The brand new emote started Woo. last week. Uh, you can give yourself a Benny, and any other Twitch channel you go to, several. Look at that. Bang, bang, bang. Plug it harder. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Yikes. Shifty Yak. We're really, we're really happy that you did that. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Anyway. Wow. I'm what not a guy. Go down that. What a dude. Careful, Thanks. Enix. Um, what? Uh, careful, Enix. I'm sure Twitch has brand standards or whatever. Well, um, <laughs> you're you're the one that took it there in your mind. Sure. Yeah. All right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, um, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, so the carnival. carnival. Last time on in the red. <laughs> Last time on in the red, they went to a carnival, <laughs> and uh, Cooper Nettles showed up. And uh, Cooper Nettles is a former Rumble Blade, former present, uh, is affiliated in some capacity with the Emerald Blades. Uh, just came back from Glass Shores, uh, <gasps> and Ooh. also our pizzas here. Pizza, yeah, pizza, uh, pizza. Oh, she's 
guy. There she goes. Um, anyway, uh, Morty had a conversation with Mayor Ornath that did not go super great. Um, yeah. So is it is it nighttime? Or is we, it next day? What is it next well, day? It can be the next day. Yeah. Well, so okay, I guess yeah. Unless there's anything anyone wanted to do before they went to bed. What's a TP his house? Oh, okay. I'm not going to, but I want to. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna it's, say I'm gonna say to that spit. Sounds like, about hey, right. I, I'm, I'm gonna say to spit, and I hope we glamour somewhere. I'm be like, I want to TP Mayor Ornas' house, like in my head. <laughs> you and hear snickering in your head. Good. And then I say that out loud to spit too. I'm like, hey, I want to TP his house. Yeah, I think, I think there's a lot going on that we don't know about, which I understand, but I also don't like because I think yeah. we've been advocates for him the whole time, and he's been kind of a jerk face for not. <sighs> and then like, yeah. you see me arming myself with toilet paper that apparently exists. Right? I was dirty. You took the joke out of it. I was just about to ask what TP is. Yeah. Well. What's TP? Oh, it's it's where you uh you move from one place to another place really quickly. Teleportation. Yeah, and I say no. It's this, and I pull out the, I pull out three shells. No. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no. What? I right. barely get that reference it's, as a human. It's <laughs> no. It's 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 Demo from uh, Demolition, Demolition Man. Yeah. Oh. Right. With Stephen Stephen. Uh... Colbert. Yeah, I yeah. loved him in that movie. What? <laughs> I loved him. Sylvester I Stallone. loved him in that movie. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> All right. Well, on and Sylvester for. Stallone, where Taco Bell is a delicacy. What? Wasn't Wesley Snipes the Demolition Man? Yes, oh, he man. was. <laughs> I love Wesley Snipes. Wesley Why? Snipes. I will. I will on it because of Blade. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, this well. whole is. Is there something that happened with? Do I need to like look up what happened? Did something happen to him? No, no he's just. Know. That's. He's it, just known to be a pretty bad actor. <laughs> I know that's why I like Blade. Uh, so, it was such Stallone an awful hey, great act. either. Right. Hey, that... hey, careful, careful. Anyway, maybe he uh... shows up and he's just like, oh, they're giving ten thousand subs to this channel, but they made fun of me as I showed up. What? No. Anyway, um, you had a not great conversation with Mayor Ornath. You all know, went to bed. I assume, unless there's something you wanted to do before going to bed. Yeah, Morty, Morty, Morty you... made it clear that he's not going back to the circus because he's going to protest yeah. the circus. Cause no, I didn't say protest. No, Did no, you, no, I didn't. You, no, no, you I was one of the be... mayor at like 10 p.m. <laughs> it's not the first time. We and then this. like busted in and demanded to see his safe. <laughs> and I think all these things are reasonable requests. It, well, yes, but after all the things I said to him, I was like, hey, dude, there's like two people that came from the direction of your house. And uh, I don't need to justify my actions. I sold, we sold Chimera burgers. I don't Look, know why I just, justify my just, actions to you. Poison the nation. What's the difference? I'm just saying uh, we, we left uh, Cooper to man the gate no. by himself, not knowing anyone. So Brief. Cooper's just like, hey. It all checks do out. Do you live here? Cool. <laughs> Is that right, Coop? What? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's that's, I feel like that's about as good as it gets. Uh, I would like oh, to say uh, what my point is. It's kind of our own fault, if I'm honest. I would, but... as I, I, I would like to have a follow up, kind of like or like an addendum as I'm leaving Mayor Ornat's house, maybe. As okay. I'm like being like, hey, what? Clearly, there's something going on here. Where do you see us best fit to protect the town if everything you said is? true regarding the fever the loss of items that are current occurring where do you think potential locations are that that people would target considering your safe is safe and everything in your home seems safe what other some other locations and where can i post other people from the civil service i mean to... the the shops are the the only places with things worth stealing, frankly, that I okay. can think of. Um, and okay. Hmm. All right. Do you have any means of seeing in the dark around here, or maybe posting another ward? I know, as we've had the conversation, that your place is fairly well secured. Mm -hmm. 
is there any other things that maybe can ward against other things happening? I don't know if that's within your power, whether it be, um, I don't know, something magical detect if something happens, an alarm spell, something like that. Oh, I mean, I wasn't responsible for casting the wards. Who was it? My They've been dead for 15 years. Um, and they still exist? They must be quite noticeable. Or no, 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 uh, we must know something about that, I would assume. Do you have a name? Uh, Craig the Wizard. I don't... Craig the Craig Wizard. Craig the Wizard. This is going to be a person oh. who matters now. God damn it. Yes, it is. Uh. It is Brian Craig, the wizard, died 15 years ago. It says uh, he died of, die? age, of old age. He was very old. <laughs> Would this have been the same kind of person that we knew about back in... Oh, I'll scroll up to my notes. Um, the tower dude that me and... Um, uh, me and Dimitri knew about in our... In our being of uh, halflings, there was like oh, a, a uh, person, the blue, I think, was his Bartleby name. the blue. Yeah, yeah. he's different oh, person. He's a different guy and a much more powerful wizard um, than uh, than Craig the wizard <laughs> ever Craig. was. Well, I didn't um, know if there's any asso- you know affiliation. He not that not that he knows of. I mean, uh, Bartleby the blue does have history in the con- in the the state of the city state of Bell. But um, other than that, he doesn't know of any direct... I mean, uh, Bart the Blue didn't show up in Bell until after... uh, Five to six years after uh, Craig the Wizard was dead. Okay. Um, Then... (laughs) He says, unfortunately, we just don't have those kind of connections in this area anymore. I mean, you're 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 putting a lot. You're you're making a lot of ways into fixing that, but at current we don't. Do have... we know anybody that cast the alarm spell? Can either can any of you cast the alarm spell? No. No. Sorry, dudes. Like probably. Not well, I didn't know if we if there was any. Is, I mean, maybe is Torg. Baron is Baron able to do it? Baron can't. Torg Baron might can. be able to, but you haven't asked him. Torg um, is also yeah. Well, we that's a different. That is another whole set of issues. We got that's another Pandora's box we got to open with getting him to just cast stuff for us. So, you know, that is what it is. Are you suggesting but, so, that there's something wrong with Torg as a spellcaster? No, I said that's just that is another live hand grenade we're gonna ah, drop in your lap. Actually, for what with it's worth, no we pin. don't know. We don't know his capabilities as a spellcaster. We do. We're, you familiar do know his with his capabilities, capabilities of imbuing. Guiding bolts. <laughs> We're familiar with his capabilities of imbuing things with magic. Making scrolls is not a skill magic. he has a great grasp of, but ma- casting magic spells, who knows? Yeah, um, and we don't know that yet. <laughs> well, we know he's got some magical capacity, but it's okay. Um, so, I guess... He says, he says Bell used to be a pretty bustling city state. Bustling. I mean, the, the city of Bell used to have... Uh, Forty thousand people that live there, but great things changed. So we should probably check that. Oh wait, I'm not around. Never mind. Yeah, I think some of us are asleep right now. Um, more do you make an insight check? Ooh, yeah, nothing new there. Uh, nineteen. Uh, when you ask him if he knows anyone who could cast the alarm spell. His, um, Don't make me upset. Please stop. Don't make me upset. His, oh, come on. His demeanor kind of looks um, upset, I guess. Oh. He kind of like um, like the whatever like vigor was in his voice just kind of drops out when he. Uh, what? Well, I guess him. am I just am I? Is it because I'm questioning him at this point? Like. As no, it's specifically when you bring like... up when you specifically when you bring up the alarm spell, or like spell casting in general, his his demeanor seems to shift. Of course, I had a sensitive touch, a sensitive tone. Of course, I did. I'm gonna say this again, Mayor Ornath. I'm I'm here for 
I'm here to keep everybody safe, and that includes you. And I trust you as much as you trust me. So the more that you are willing to depart to me is the more I'm willing to depart to you. Let, or impart to you. Um, I understand that there's hesitations with people that are new in town. But once again, I don't. we're not here to, for malicious reasons. At least I'm not. Um, I hope you can see that and understand that we're just trying to keep the people that we care about safe. And then I think I will take my leave at that point because I've taken my leave three times, and mm -hmm. I think that's a good a good um, old Midwestern goodbye sure, at this point. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, when you mention uh, keeping the people you care about safe, that you notice his demeanor drop even further. Ah! Well. It, if he did, well, all right, well, deuces, brother. <laughs> I leave a rock because hopefully, rock is that how is this that is that how the love system in this game works or like what? liking system is like you give somebody a rock and they keep on giving people gifts and until they fable? like you enough. Yes, yes. Right, yeah. This is, is a fable. fable? Is that <laughs> Have you before we all went to sleep? Had you communicated any of your seventeen conversations this evening? With Mayor Ornath, because you've like, fuck no, you've gone there and, and left come like three times. Yeah, I know. It's just literally a midwestern goodbye. I got mm -hmm. to the door. I got. I set up. I went. Well, he got, he got off the couch. Yeah, I got. And then he had a I whole said, other well, I guess it's time. And then he and went then to grab his coat. Had coat yeah, and then another the whole time. third conversation. And then at the door. And then they had him one at the door, and then one while Mayor one Ornath the... stood on the front porch, and yeah. he stood in the driveway. All right, I think there's I, one I, more I can I just, do at the Midwest. No. I think it's like while I'm leaning out the door right. at this. How long, little... how long were you two hanging out in the kitchen, having a conversation in the kitchen? Because that's always a thing. Three and a half hours. Okay. Because <laughs> right. like you, you have comfortable seating in the living room, but you were in the kitchen oh. the entire time. Realistically, I think that conversation lasted 15 minutes. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I, yeah. yeah, I think the whole thing was like that long. All right. I just, you guys I, were on your way back, I assume. Very little of it was in the kitchen, but notably, it does not look like anything's <laughs> been cooked in that kitchen in a very long time. Stop. Why, hey, don't, why are you doing do, this, well, me, Brian? Just, like, Mayor <laughs> Ornath just orders DoorDash. <laughs> well, I, my, my, my reason for asking... This is not a new is thing like, that's come up before. Brian, Brian has, has made a point of, of pointing out how weird Mayor Ornath is about magic. It's been a thing. It's a big yeah. thing. No, yeah, I, we, we, super we're super weird we're, about it. But he can cast identify, or he has the ability, or has I, no I know, but, has well, access. Well, I guess to. what I mean about other people casting magic, he gets yeah. super sketchy about it. You know, like doesn't it. like it. Speaking of things that that Morty doesn't give a flying hoot about. Yeah. Well, it's but, good that you don't care because you haven't investigated it at all. So uh, that that tracks. <laughs> Well, uh, no, because I well, there's no reason for Morty to have investigated it because he says, "Hey, if you start casting spells, my spells are gonna go off." And it's like, "Oh, okay, cool." Let me not his spells, but like the spells that are the spells that are protecting. I don't yeah. need my character dying from a delayed fireball as he gets behind a couch made of uh, immunity to fire, and then I just blow up. <laughs> That is something that you will do, Brian. Fire resistant plushies. He will jump into a <laughs> yes! barrel. Yeah. Hey. I'm gonna say to him, and I go, as I'm as I'm at the door, be like, it's kind of weird. You don't like me? No, I'm not gonna say. That. Haven't you left already? No, I'm <laughs> at the I'm at the drive. I'm at his mailbox now. Okay. And now I can. What, now you're bring yelling in the to mail. each other. He's in the front. He's standing in the front door. You're at the you're at the, your car in the driveway. You're just yelling yeah. at each other now. I mean, this is not. I don't care. No, uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna make note of that, but I don't. We'll be no, back. The, the 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 magic thing is 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 what's tipping me off, even though I wasn't yeah. there. Well, haven't we cast a detect magic in his place though? Oh, it's full of magic. Yeah, yeah. he's got wards all over the place. Yeah, but we like, haven't. He stopped you from like casting silence on top of like doorways that I may mean, have already been cast with magic. Like he stopped you from do like doubling up magic spells on a specific like yeah. area because that can have very negative consequences yeah. double double silence actually makes a megaphone well if it's not silence hey! it's something else like it could be a pro <laughs> like 
Yeah. You guys really haven't explored what happens when you cast, like, an area of, like, a, an abjuration on top of an abjuration before. Ooh. I'm not trying to. All right. What would you like to do? I like to go. Okay. To get Cooper. Awesome. Cooper's at the gate. Is Anton coming back? He's, yeah, think, he's that... he's just like uh, you. You see him like walking up the up the path toward the gate. Okay. Um, I'd like to flag him down. He is definitely flaggable. And and on the way to flagging him down, I'm gonna tell. Uh, Cooper, about. Let me look at my notes really fast on what I tell. I'm telling Cooper. Cooper, I think. Oh, Mayor Ornath says his place. The mayor, is uh. So we saw some people leave, right? I, I say this to Cooper, not not to Brian, but to Cooper. Like we saw people leave, right? Yeah, over the wall. So. I went to Mayor Ornath's place and checked. He says there's nothing missing at, at the moment. Um, I'm worried that this will continue as long as the carnival exists, and I think Mayor Ornath has a very similar belief. As such, I'm not going to go to the carnival tomorrow. You think that people will be I think it's gonna jumping continue. over the wall instead of using the gate? We could. I don't, I don't, uh, is that, is that what tall people do? I'm just curious, is that the, like, thing that you want to stop from happening? That people are using the jump over the wall function instead of the gate function of the wall? <laughs> um, no. I, I think it's okay if people go, I mean, like, I know it's more inconvenient, but... Maybe they just like drop something on the other side of the wall, and sometimes it's easier than walking all the way around to the front. No, I I hear you. Even though I would never be able to jump over that like ten foot wall. You're um, the right man. You just gotta keep practicing. I feel like with my boots, my my gauntlets, I actually have the capacity of standing jump yeah, to the top strong. of the wall. Like yeah. I actually yeah. can't standing. And like with that, like the bottom of the wall, I'm going like, like I'm just gonna do one of those launches small. self. First, you gotta start jumping on like a tree stump, and then yeah, you gotta, like, no, I go, I like, go for there. the full jump. Actually, Brian, do I make it? But you can only you do, do it if you do it from a well, handstand. Well, actually, what's my standing jump? I don't even know what standing jump is. Your vertical jump? Yeah, my my vertical jump. I actually think Nine is pretty foot high. Vertical leap. I, it yes. might be pretty high, actually. Uh, all I'm saying is, if somebody casts a jump spell on you, you would have no trouble clearing that fence. Wall palisade. It's like ten. Yeah. It was it ten feet. You said. Drink a little like gummy bear juice. Uh, jumping, stand high, jump. I can jump three plus my strength modifier. I can almost vault the wall. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Awesome. I can jump seven feet and change. Mm -hmm. Wow. The wall. <laughs> I'm like, do I? I look at Koopa. I go, dang, and I do that again, and I go for a high five, hoping that Koopa high fives. Absolutely. Okay, High five cool. return. Awesome. I told you you could do it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, well, anyway, that was a confidence boost I didn't realize I needed. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to, or I'll say, um, I'm going to, I'm going to stay here with Anton tomorrow. And I'm just, and ha so Brian, I guess I never really asked how the town set up. Mm-hmm. In terms of the gates, mm -hmm. I'm, what I'm thinking is there's two gates, or is there only one gate? There's a north gate and a south gate, which ends and where up is like Ornath? east and west. Um, his estate is kind of like up on a hill in the gate. Uh, it is like backed up to the edge of the town, so like the gate of the town is around his backyard. Um, but um, he's maybe... I guess like a mile or so from like the tavern and your shop and like the Roscoe's and like the business district. So the, district the nearest location trend. to him is where? Probably the North Gate, which is realistically the gate people are probably using to go to the carnival as well. And that's where we would have been stationed? 
Um, yeah. So the nearest building of interest, or what's the nearest building between Mayor Ornath and then what's to the next, like, major labeled establishment? Because if there's a clearing, someone had to do a dead sprint. Because if he's saying nothing's missing, what's the next building that's realistically nearby that... Um, there's a lot of, like, houses. Not a lot, but there's a few houses between. The nearest, like, establishment that, based off your conversation with him, would le lead to, like, and having anything of value worth stealing is probably errands. Okay. Um. And then kind of, like, the cluster of other stuff. Yeah, and then, like, the rest of the businesses are in and around. There's, like, a... Like two intersections that kind of like have those the businesses amongst those two intersections, and then there's okay. some housing on the far end too. Um, the gate, like the guard post for the town, is at the southern gate. So normally, um, the southern gate is the one that's patrolled by Anton, but that is specifically because that's the road that the leads to like the rest of the world, basically. You know. Okay. <clears throat> all right well I'll, I'll clearly i mean I'm, I'm like hey coop like aaron's might be a place that of interest i don't know about the homes i don't want to cause undue alarm maybe maybe if anton will man the gate tomorrow night my plan is to patrol the town in that area around um the northern air or uh, you said northern area mm -hmm. of where that's where he's at yeah like, like the, the house north, is at the northwest side. northwest side of town to see if there's anything that goes on and i can um intervene what kind of thing are you patrolling for people that shouldn't be taking stuff from other people oh are people stealing i want you to know coop has you have not shared with him that you think that people are stealing <laughs> oh i thought that we did <laughs> No. no. Oh no! I thought that I I was going into this conversation with full expectation that I thought that was that was already declared. No. That there was, no. Yeah. No. Okay. My like apologies. You came up and you were like, people are jumping the walls. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. I I thought it was like now. Yeah, no. 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 And then I would clarify. View, we, from our point of view, we went to the carnival and then you just like didn't, and then we're out real late. Well, I, I thought Coop knew. My, my apologies. I thought Coop <laughs> did actually know that. Oh, um, no. <laughs> no, so I, I would have been like, oh, yeah, I guess step back 10. No, or keep the current pace around. Yeah. Like, oh, by the way, yeah. there's people stealing there's no stuff. Back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd be like, Coop, there's people steal. People are stealing stuff, and I think the intended destination is the carnival. That's why they ran that way. What I, stuff has gone missing? I don't know, and that's what I want to find out tomorrow night. Wait, and if wait, Anton. Wait, whoa, whoa. So you think the people are stealing, but nothing's gone missing? I only know from Mayor Ornath that nothing's gone, gone stolen from his place. And that's where a lot of the, the gold and the like has been held from our location. And that's what I thought originally that's what was taken. Because I saw, or we saw them jump from around his home to the and then running towards the carnival. That's why I was gone for the last 15 minutes saying goodbye to him four times. Wait, so who's missing stuff? I don't know yet, but Mayor Ornath has... Well, you had... Wait, hold on. You totally knew because you were there at the co original conversation with Mayor Ornath, weren't you? No, that was before... No! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. He's been... He's... Coop's been watching the gate. <laughs> I don't know, like, I do think Mayor it's Orna odd that somebody... Oh, okay. You have... Before we met you at our sandwich shop, we visited Mayor Ornath. And okay. Mayor Ornath said, hey, I don't want to point fingers, but I'm about to point fingers. He said, I don't want to be offend. I don't want to... I hope this doesn't come off as offensive. And then said an offensive thing. And that was that they were stealing stuff. 
but he didn't he wasn't specific and i couldn't get that out of him either and that's why i was gone because i was trying to investigate what might have gone wrong now this makes a lot more sense a bit more to be honest i kind of thought that you were just uh you can say it it's okay we're friends people that jumped over the fence i didn't think that was super cool so i just no, I'm part of the investigation crew here. Oh, okay. I'm like, it's like, and it's, wait, what's the equivalent to NCIS in Bell? What does NCIS stand for? It's that show. Isn't that the name it's of it? It's like crimes, something it's crime scene investigation. investigation. Cri- crime scene. Naval, yeah. crime oh. Naval crime investigation, something. So, so it's, it's the BCIS. It's a BCIS. <laughs> a Bell Crime Scene Investigation. That's BCSI. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I had a high intelligence either. Do 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 do. Um so yeah. Um and I guess I'm gonna hopefully Anton took his sweet time having that full conversation not heard. So I mean, just as a side like note, how, sorry, Gary. Oh no. I, I I'm I'm really curious about Anton now. He's been basically in charge of manning this gate for the last forever all by himself, right? Yeah. So what? How? Um... We hired people. Oh right. Okay. Yes. Carry on. Well, do so you have, like, do you have questions about before you got here, or yes, it I wasn't can. good. Uh, I I'm just unclear how. <laughs> there was any security maintained was. when it was just Anton and then some people. There wasn't. I don't I don't know what so you're talking just, about. Look. Was Anton awake twenty four hours a day? Seemingly. I, no. Wow. He wasn't. When we first got here and we were he was like huh huh <laughs> like <Yeah>. showed up <laughs> But you didn't get in without him noticing you. Well, he left out the gate, but like he's not a, like he's not a bulletproof plan here. We like you don't know that you haven't tested it. I just I just can't help we that notice. We kind of did. That... Bullets don't exist in this world. Well, yet <laughs> there's a big yet there. The tubes to project them may exist by now, but um, anyway, uh. Yeah, oh. you. Uh, to your knowledge, before you all showed up and gave him a crew of bandits to help him guard the walls. It's civil service. Um, sorry, civil servants. Thank you. Uh, he single-handedly was guarding the southern wall of town. Mind you, that phrase and the northern really gate important. was just yeah. no one cared. <laughs> uh, so the northern gate was largely blocked off until you all rebuilt the wall. Oops. I mean, there's no oops about it. I mean, we did our job. You you rebuilt the wall, and there is now a civil service corps that can guard that wall, that gate. But like, that was then, it's largely shut most of the time, with a sign on it that says like, "Use the front use door." The, use the other. <laughs> use other door. <laughs> other gate. Um, Try yeah, again. It was to your knowledge. It was only him. Um, and you're not really sure. Uh, how this like octogenarian has successfully been guarding the gate? But is he also possessed? I'm. Uh, I kind of want to contest some, like you know, like to see like how Baron kind of showed up and he's like, oh yeah, he's undead. There's something, there's something <laughs> around him. I'm sitting here going like, mm. that's are you, just. Are you casting is... detect magic on him? <laughs> Hell no. I'm gonna cast something else. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna virtually cast detect magic. Yeah, Why I'm not? just. I'm, I'm sitting here just trying to like mentally. I'm overthinking it as I do. Trying to figure out the logistics of how a, a, a billion-year-old man guarded this thing. Not this a billion, 80. 80-year-old man all by himself. And the mm-hmm. minute that he was taken off duty is when things started to go down. Uh, Morty, a little you, convenient. when you detect magic on him, uh, there is some sort of magic effect over him. What is it? <laughs> What's the origin? What kind of spell That's is cool. it? cool. Yeah. Let me look it up. It is... An enchantment spell. Damn it. <sighs> How strong is it? Is it like got a good radiant about it? Uh, it is uh, tied specifically to hip. Well, I mean, like, is it like really strong? 
Uh, or is seemingly it like a- strong enough to allow him to defend a gate 24 hours a day well into his 80s. It's uh. just hit. It's called coffee in check. That's all he's doing. He's just been – he's on the coffee lock program for the last Maybe. while. Um, I, I, I want to rustle so many jimmies here right now. Like, I'm on a roll tonight. Um, <laughs> hey, Anton, how was the carnival? Oh, it was a lovely spectacle. There were so many... I'm sorry. Oh, it was a lovely spectacle. <laughs> there were so many acrobats. Is that what he says? I'm sorry? Wrestlers. And then he back to his old voice. <laughs> no. There were, there were pugilists and acrobats, and it was a, a wonderful time. I'm really happy to hear that. Good. Yeah. I mean, was it, was it a good... Hmm. So, I've got a question for you. I've got a question, too. I've got are a we, question. Are what is we happening? Walking, <laughs> are we walking from the carnival, or did we? are we not with Anton right now? Uh, you're probably, like, around him. You can be there if you'd like. I'm not going to dictate that you must go to the gate, but your friends are there. Let's go hang out with our friends so this information doesn't need to be passed along. <laughs> In a weird game of telephone, yeah. Yeah. It's like getting the wish version of what I'm trying to right. tell you. Right. Hey, Morty. Hey, Coop. Hey. Hi. I, caught a, I caught a trapeze person. <laughs> I've... That's Whoa. awesome. Yeah. I... How about you guys? <laughs> We didn't. We saw some people sneak over the wall. Whoa, that's so cool! Yeah, they were good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that's Morty's actual reaction. It is now. Uh... It actually is. That's that's the worst part about it. <laughs> yeah, they jumped the wall and head and went straight back to the carnival. Uh, Morty is concerned that, uh, there's suspicious activity. Ooh, what kind? Stealing. Oh, we know about that. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's we, interesting. Well, it doesn't that, seem uh, like that uh, big of a deal, then. Well, we're, like, looking out for it. We, Mayor Ornat told us about it, um, oh. before the... Like mentioned that it was kind of with the carnival, actually. And I take out my paper of the of the flyer, and I go, "Look, look, see, see, this right no. here. Um, it says that this carnival doesn't have people that would intentionally steal from the towns that they visit. So well, theoretically, it checks out that whoever may be responsible for this might not be in direct consort with the carnival, but maybe using it to shield, like, since there's so many people here, we might have to really keep our eyes peeled, because um, it sounds like it's not coming from the carnival itself. Well, it was headed back to the con- carnival location. It was a smaller humanoid and a human at least six foot and change. I don't know how many they have, but that was headed towards that direction, and that's, uh... I went to talk to Mayor Ornath uh, and left uh, uh, left my good friend Coop in charge of the gate uh, for a few minutes, uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever that time frame is. Um, <laughs> a big and, uh, line. Yes, Someone's um, been stealing from people of the community. And I say, yeah, that's Anton, <laughs> I am concerned about it. However, I don't know if it's need to draw me alarm because if that is the case, then we... Caught, we raise undue suspicion that person is going to go back into darkness and if they are in fact with a carnival whether they are or they're not they are going to disappear and we can't get can't remove the threat from further cities mm. so and my, we need to restore people here too yeah so my my thoughts are maybe I, I know y- you are off and I want to make sure that you get to have as much time off as possible I would like to go and it, it was uh, occurring by Mayor Ornath's place. I went to talk to Mayor Ornath. He said nothing was missing. Um, and um, 
but they were headed near the location of his home, which the next spot is. And I kind of let I kind of hope that he draws his own conclusions of like it could have hit the yeah. I'll let him his own, let him decide what he wants to do with that sure. info. Actually, uh, you say it could have hit, and he says they could have stolen the dirt from the grounds around his estate. <laughs> No, that's probably a foolish thing to steal. I'm yeah. like, I, I, I feel like sit, from the I'm home stand, is nearby. I'm stand up and go back there, and this is what this is <laughs> this is what Morty's doing. He's like, and, and Spit, <laughs> Spit actually blurted out <laughs> the laugh too. <laughs> he says, "No, no, no, that would be a foolish thing to steal, unless there was some sort of uh, uh, ritualistic magic this. about Earth in this." town i don't know um perhaps ritualistic magic as, about he, earth as, in this as he town. says that i'm gonna say do you know anything about ritualistic magic or magic in general oh no i uh, i know very little about magic unfortunately the um i would like to do an insight check i was gonna say should we roll insight no, 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 checks no, no, no. i would like to do it knowing that he's doing to knowing that he's got magic about him sure i reroll ones <laughs> While he's rolling, I like look 26. over at six. I look over at Morty at the same time, going like, "Why are you squinting at him?" <laughs> as his insight check is happening. Twenty six. Um, he is clearly not a spellcaster. Sure, you don't get that idea. He says, "I don't. I don't know much about. Uh, I don't know much about magic. I, I do know that. Well, Come for on. a while we had." Unfortunately, she's been gone for a couple of some time now. Oh no! Who, who is she? Well, well, is Mrs. Ornath. She, she <gasps> passed. Of course, Serena. it's fucking Mrs. Ornath. Serena passed a few months ago. Uh, Cooper, you recognize Serena Ornath as like the mayor's wife, uh, and had been his wife for a very long time. Um. Notably, she was a pretty advanced spellcaster, but not, um, not like, like Craig the Wizard level. Not like Craig the Wizard levels of <laughs> spellcasting. Um, it, she she had access to, to operationalize it when you knew her. She had access to like third level spells, so like not particularly strong, but strong for relative to other like spellcasters in the region. Um, he says uh, she was very skilled in, in casting the magics, but um, she's unfortunately she passed uh, some time ago. Um, I. What was it from? Do you know? Oh, I. Uh, <coughs> we're not. We're not sure. She was. She was out on the road, and um, when she returned, she was. It was it was in the dead of night and it was, uh, no one wanted to press Bastion on it because it was such a, a, a time of grieving. But um, sure, it, uh, the road this could be help a very us. dangerous place. So. What, did, was she dead as she, before she got here, or she, did she die when she got here afterwards? Uh, my understanding is she succumbed to her wounds when she was here. Uh, she went out with a couple of people from town they they were not recovered um, but she managed to stave off uh, her wounds long enough to get home but um, unfortunately succumbed to them what what I'm sorry for prying is what did she, she was a spellcaster yes. what was she out for um, she regularly went on excursions and was it for like material components often, was... often that was the case yes um, sometimes material components, sometimes um, she had a bit more will, let's say, to investigate crimes outside the city than, than Bastion did. Um, he was a lot more willing to um, pursue those crimes until, of course, his, his, his spouse um, was, was unfortunately killed while doing Where was just she... that. Where no, was she buried? Okay. Uh, my understanding is that her remains were sent to a family cemetery. That I don't, I don't, I'm not privy to that information. It's so sad. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, it's very sad. 
he says, oh, and there was that 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 quest that I took on to guard this gate. Uh, I know yeah, that Anton, magic. Did, did did your wait? Did, did wait. you feel any different uh, yourself around the same time as? Uh, no, Mrs. Hor okay. But what's just... the quest magic you're talking about? Yeah, make a history check or an arcana uh, check, either one. Uh oh. Oh no. Can can I give him uh, advantage? Um, are you proficient in arcana? Yes, I am. Then yes. And in history. That's a nineteen. Thank you for the advantage, because the other one was a two. Um, so quest, uh, quest refers to um, a spell that um, it is the same spell as the Gius spell, goodness, but it what went by a different. It's gone by a different name historically. Um, so oh, before Jesus. the before like, tw ten years ago or so. Um, it was interchangeable. The word quest was interchangeable with the word geas. Ah. Uh, there were also other, like, the effects of the spell shifted when the world shifted a bit. Um, oftentimes, uh, a, a quest or geas spell could provide um, other benefits to the recipient than just While obligation. the spell... As long wow. as they were maintaining the maintaining the spell, the they could, there were there were <laughs> effects that could uh, uh, assist them in 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 such an endeavor. Yes, that's, that's awesome. I'm just looking this up. I mean, because I mean, sh surely my dragon could do this as well. <laughs> but just... wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so <laughs> I'm a little speechless right now. Um Anton how, I mean how do you feel about it? Not that you could tell me anything counter to it. What do you what do you mean? I mean th this this quest I mean, yes, I willingly took on the responsibility of protecting this town, and uh, if I do say so myself, I have been rather successful in keeping it, uh, well, this town. Uh, yeah, because if you didn't, you would take 5d10 psychic damage each time you don't, if I'm reading the right <laughs> one. No, 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 we, no, 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 that's the new version. That's the new version, what's because, the old version? Because the thing is, is we, as Brian had stated... We he, the the times have shifted and so have the spell the nature of the spells, Goodness. and and as so he's done everything in his power to mm -hmm. oh. protect it and we for the night have taken responsibility so he was able to do it without violating the spell. I, Correct. I, I guaranteed that uh, I, I I made the oath that the get the the gate would be protected. Yes. And as soon as it wasn't, he would take <laughs> something. Maybe. Um, okay. Um, so we're all on the same page here. I would yeah. like to tomorrow. Oh, at least hopefully some of you are. I would like to tomorrow, um, be, um, patrolling in a maybe, uh, observatory way, um, the area that those, potential people jump the wall at because jumping the wall is first off not a very easy thing to do a you just B, did it very easily i'm you didn't <laughs> that's true that's <laughs> but if you Even, got i, if say, you I got say that on... and i'm like i'm like i was like i'm still three i'm like still and like i i use myself as measurement i'm like i'm still this far off <laughs> yeah but if you were to like get on coop's shoulders it would have been super easy yeah, yeah well do that for you well, and it, that's... And it wasn't that. Wait, how did the people that you saw get over the fence do that, Brian? I don't. I think we kind of like hand waving that one. It was like they, we saw two people jump the fast. Oh no! The large it. man boosted the small person over, and yeah. then uh, sheer mighted themselves over. Yeah. Um, so oh, say I they yeeted themselves over. It's true. Um, I turned to Anton and I go, 
do you have records of anybody that seems to match this pair of individuals so that we kind of get a better idea of who to look out for? If, if says, oh, of course. Yes, 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 yes. It's been a very busy time in, in Wynn's Hollow. Yeah. And he, mm-hmm. uh, he says, uh, he goes through his, his pages and he says, uh, you said tall and short, yes? One is tall, one is short, yes. <laughs> right, right. One, one cannot be both tall and short unless... I mean, you're talking about relative to different things, but well, with one tall person, Smalls, one short person. It. Just really quick, before you say that it's that it's that it's me and Annex, um, can you? <laughs> I was going with it too. <laughs> can you, Marty and Coop, describe some of the things that they have been wearing? Oh yeah. No. And then I go quiet. No, I know, I know. And then I go quiet. Oh. Uh, is that something was... that you Anton can share looks with at you Anton? like? Oh yeah, that would be very helpful. And I say, oh, yeah, it's dark out. Oh. I didn't really see it super good. I even okay. saw it super good, and that, that, that's all I can give you is there's a short person and a tall person. I didn't. The one thing I wanted to ask was, did, did one look more... Um, we dealt with kobolds, we dealt with goblins. Yeah. Did it? I know it was from a distance, but... I did roll like a twenty plus, yeah. and it's dark. To your knowledge, there weren't any like telltale like yeah, that's what like postures yeah. that would indicate any specific race, short okay, of okay. like a height situation, right? So yeah, and um, it could have still been a small human too. Yeah. Um, uh, Anton, well, looks could I verify? Books. Could I verify if it was in fact a small human versus like a small lizard, like a, a halfling or a? Like, was the height de- de- determinable enough where it was like, hey, it's a dwarf, or hey, like, I would assume there's a certain height standard, where, or even gender. Shorter than a human, probably, but, like, you really couldn't be, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between Was there gender and... associated with it? No, because, I mean, it was, you know, it's, it's, somebody's wearing a cloak at a distance yeah. in the dark. Like. I have to ask. Yeah. Maybe you'll give me the freebies, I don't know. He says, uh, let me... Give me just a moment. And he starts muttering to himself. Uh, and he's, he opens the book and he says, Here are all the lists of tall people that came in with short people. And, it, actually a really I, I, and I look over I'm like, There we are! There we are! <laughs> it just says us over and over and over again as we walk back and forth between the door over and over and over again. <laughs> um, there's actually like a long list of merchants and like farmers and like the fact that so much trade is coming through this town is really hindering this investigation. Yeah. Hey, would it be of use to you to have a second person to help you out? Are you suggesting that I am not appropriately fulfilling my quest? I didn't say those. No. I'm saying, <laughs> would you like an assistant? In a si- I don't. I mean, and and hey, and I and I run over. I run over and I, I gesture to the blade. I'm like, surely a person of your stature deserves a baby blade to assist you. I'm coining oh, this term. No. Oh no, baby blade. We call know. them blade legs. Blade legs, yeah! Oh no. Oh dear. Uh, he says, I, I don't know if taking on... To help I with mean, the other gate. Are there are there blade legs? I don't... I, Do I don't remember be being one? involved in an in, in initiation ceremony of any kind. Was I not invited? This is well, a, no, it's a the pilot program. Yes, no, it's a pilot yes, program. It's a pilot internship program. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think of an internship program. Well, it's your idea. You can have it. We didn't make it up. You did. But I'm quite sure well, Anton, I didn't what... make it up. Uh, and like, like a kick what... him right into the shin. Like, just like, oh, oh, I like, see. Like... I made it up. I see what you mean. Yes. Um... I just, what, what, and I'm like, what, right, what, Cooper? What, what, what we're interested in doing, like, we're really impressed that you managed to defend this entire town. 24 hours a day without any sort of rest from what we can tell. We just want to be able to replicate that experience. I take occasional passing. naps. It's uh, Oh. Uh, oh. Um, how, uh, what it has, okay. <laughs> I take 30 minute naps at least twice a day. Do you, and I'm not implying anything when I ask this question, just mm-hmm. to be clear, but what, um, how do you secure the town while you're taking your 30 oh, minutes? Oh, well, I wake oh. up when people come to the gate. I see. Uh, what if they're really quiet? Uh, uh they're not that quiet. <laughs> so you you only sleep 20 you're awake 23 hours a day? Yes, is that unusual? 
It's just like an old man kind of conversation. <laughs> I, I love the, how Enix is just on. the health and wellness guy. <laughs> First it's food, now well, it's I'm, rest. I mean, as a, as as out of character, I am very concerned about sleep, and I'm concerned about this 80 year old man sleeping an hour a day for years on end. From the sound of it, he says, no, 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 I have I have assistance. Oh, hey. well, the quest. The quest provides me with the energy. Assistance, oh, yeah. uh, oh, not assistant. Uh, yeah, oh, see, I was wondering okay. if it was noun versus... Yeah, got it. I mean, they're both so, nouns. But... So I yeah, they just... are just one's plural and one singular. I, I think I'm reading the same um, uh, Roll20 article about... How do you pronounce it? Ge- Gaius? Gaius? Gaius. Gaius. I've heard Gaius. it both ways. Um, yeah. How So, uh, how long... <laughs> so, anti... Anton, how long has uh, have you been involved in, or how long have you had this uh, the, the spell to ask going on? Age. Um, the, I've had the spell on me for um, 11 years, I believe. Okay. He's had a number of hours e- no, j- <laughs> of I'm, sleep I'm, equal I'm, less than... I'm asking that because that determines like what how powerful the spellcaster right. was. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Um, the uh the, it says that I, it's ninth level or higher. I, I, I took on like I forever. took on the quest from a celestial entity from another plane. Oh my oh, goodness. <laughs> how did oh, that come Oh my to be? goodness. Well he was allied with the Emerald Blades. The blades. Yeah. I look at Coop and go, who's that? Uh he was he was the mayor of, of Bell. Mayor Lear. Oh he wait, Mayor who? Lear. May- Mayor Lear mm-hmm. was able to cast what kind of spells? Um, celestial. Celestial. Spells. I don't know magic. I don't. I don't know magic very well. Who was the mayor? Wow, that must have been really cool. I mean, it was a grand responsibility, but I was happy to take it. The protecting this city is very important to me. I take it very seriously. As you should. Is there anything else I can do for you? You're just an, you're an enigma. <laughs> just you're an anomaly. You know what? Keep being you, buddy. I I intend to as long as <laughs> yeah. as long as the magics hold, young Morty. Yeah. Does it seem like he's not aged? No, no, no. He's very old. He's old. Yeah. No, no, no. In terms of, in the thirteen or however many years it's been. Um, how good are you, uh, Jake Delmaro, at judging the relative health and fitness of a seventy-year-old compared to an eighty-one-year-old? An eighty-year-old. <laughs> Actually, I think pretty good because my dad's right. sixty-eight. Oh, your dad, yeah. Um, he does look to be eighty-six-ish. He's he looks old, like. But does his does the physical attributes not fit that of an 86 year old in terms i would of imagine I'm, like, I'm telling you my dad looked the same at 65 as he did when he died and yeah. like you, you can't tell well it's i really say this as my tell. dad is my superman honestly <laughs> right. yeah yeah, yeah. and we like you have a good relationship with your father no no no, no no we're no, all like, very no. jealous no 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 no, no like in terms of what he does, whatever <laughs> <laughs> what i was saying was more like hey does it seem like the capacities of what he's doing? I mean, of course, he's sleeping one hour a day. We get that. But oh, absolutely not. Like, there's no way an there's average no 86 way. year old yeah, okay. could be that's like what I, that's standing, what I was a, standing for. manning a gate eight, 23 hours a day, defending it against brigands. Like, there's some bullshit going on, essentially. Or some call, some people call that magic. That's magic, yeah. uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> like occasionally people refer to that as magic. It's, but... it's more funny that that I, as a celestial divine kind of caster, would call that bullshit. Sure. <laughs> like, that's that's how I feel about about celestial spell casting. Right. It's just, he says no. I, I, magic was cast on me by a celestial entity. Of course, of course, we didn't know he was a celestial entity at the time. We found out after the fact. Um, and then, you know, the Emerald Blades went to fight their war, and um, no one came back because they mostly all died. And then um, Wait, I back, was here. Uh, a second. So I know we just were glancing over this fact that he's a celestial being. Right. What happened to him? 
I don't know. He hasn't been seen since the Emerald Blades went to war. Presumably he went with them and also fell in the vast battle of mm. the desert. But I don't know. I've been here. Since guarding the gate. The Emerald Blades went to war. But he was for the Emerald Blades, though. For, as in, like, allied with? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He inspired them to become an organization in the first place. Oh! Is there any other info, I mean, beyond just this this conversation of just finding out he was apparently a celestial being that we know about? Um, no, you've earlier. never heard of Lear before. Uh, it's, uh, can we take a step back? Uh, sure. Awesome. And, um, I don't literally take a step back, but I would, I would like, in the conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, can you give us some more info about Mayor Lear? You clearly met him because he casted a spell on you. Can mm -hmm. you give us any backstory about who he is? You, I mean, you... Like, you're giving us info about stuff that we've... At least I, in my own age, have never known about. I don't know if um, Coop has, has... Cooper's dealt with Mayor Lear or them, but, like, could you give us more info about, like, who Mayor Lear is and, like, was and all that fun jazz... I mean, uh, music... Can you just give us some more info, please? Uh, uh, Cooper had a better relationship with, with him than I did. I've been here pretty substantially since. Um, Cooper, what do you remember about Mayor Lear? I don't, I don't know. Who is Mayor Lear? Mayor Lear is the mayor of Bell, who uh, helped the Emerald who Blades. the Emerald Blades. Who helped the Emerald Blades become the Emerald Blades. So anything Elise remembers... From that five-year campaign about Lear, oh. Coop remembers about that five-year campaign oh, regarding Lear. Lear. But if you don't remember oh. anything, uh, no, you don't remember anything. Which is fine either way. He was uh, like an all right guy. Okay. Really uh, helped the blades get off the ground, so that was cool. It's pretty new burrito. I agree. But I've never met him. That's not true. You definitely... Oh, okay, well, you can tell them you haven't met him, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I never met him, but... Uh, uh, he's a person. Okay. Cooper, um, make, a, make a history check. Okay. It <laughs> was a long time ago. It was? Yeah. And, uh... There's so many dogs barking outside. Oh. Yeah, there's been a lot going on in our, like, this is a bad night to have the windows open. Like, people are drag racing. Ooh. There's dogs, dogs in barking class five minutes and small yappy dogs. Oh, no. It's the worst. They have a lot to say. My uh, bird's responding now. Oh, the bird. What did you name your bird? Blue, because I'm not original. <laughs> What's, uh, what, what was your history check, Oops. I'm still pulling up my character sheet on ah. the the internet app that we use. Sure, the one that doesn't sponsor us. I don't know if we're rap, rap Yeah, time. they don't. We're not going to use their name until we get that sweet. Wait, <laughs> that sweet ten dollars a month. I can find Although, you. Are the leaves of the can leaves going to sponsor us? Chill. <laughs> Chill. Maybe. I guess technically, aren't they sponsoring us though? No. Yeah. Didn't we get like? No, no. I paid for that. <laughs> oh, never mind then. They don't get to know. <laughs> History. All right, this is gonna be uh, right I off, right off the die. Auction. At how loud the dice roller is. That's gonna be a twelve. Twelve. The only thing uh, other than what you can come up with that you recall about Lear. Is something about as long as the walls should hold. There's some kind of like, like legend or tale about him that involves the phrase "as long as the walls shall hold," but you don't remember the context. That's right. Uh, yeah, I never met Lear, but uh, wait, did I meet Lear? Yeah, you probably did. Oh, like in what context though? I like, feel like very passively. Oh, okay. Like, on, on your way to, like, go fight a war, he was like, oh, hey, I'm Lear. I'm, I've been helping you. Okay. Yeah, Which one time, 
I, I take that back. I did meet Lear one time, but it was very short. I thought he was very polite at the time. And uh, it's like big thing is like, as long as the wall shall hold. Yeah. Comma. That was his whole, he was like, as long as the wall shall hold. I'm gonna. gonna I, I think I'm gonna <laughs> laugh and just open my book and see if there's anything to do with Mayor with someone named Lear. Um, in the you, celestial you don't section, even, you don't even. I'm have gonna open my roll. other. This is not a book on celestial entities. It's a book. I'm gonna on open entities. my book on celestial entities and uh, <laughs> open up to the section um, Mayor Lear. He actually doesn't have a first name. It's just Mayor and last name is Lear. Uh, yeah, there's no information. In them. There doesn't there doesn't appear to be any information in your book at all about non fey entities unless they're like opposed specifically to fey entities. God, I can't wait till I can just start calling them my my god to tell me what's happening. And my god, I mean, <sighs> not the one I'm currently following. Is that out loud? Was that in character? No, not at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> not at all. No, it's not at all. All right. Um, is there anyone else in town who has this kind of encyclopedic knowledge of Mayor Lear? Or we would know would have a Mayor Lear kind Make of like. Insight. Okay. It's gonna be a two. I can feel this. Just kidding. It's a twenty-one. Oh, who else do you yeah, know that you know go. a lot about the Emerald Blades? I, I want Roscoe to know about it, to be completely honest. Actually, in the stream, Roscoe. Hmm? Roscoe? I think she Roscoe. How old is Roscoe? You're not sure. It's tough to judge the age of kobolds. Yeah, hey, kobolds you named a kobold time. after our future child? After <gasps> our future daughter, yeah. Also, I'm after my pregnant. grandfather. I'm but... not pregnant. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't. Don't. No, 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 no. No. This is just one we got stored away for a case. I'm not pregnant. Okay. I worked okay. very hard not to be pregnant. Yes. Okay, That's weird, true. uh, weird. <laughs> got it. <laughs> anyway, um, um, I look at Spit and go, how old is Roscoe? Um, I mean, at least 12, because that's how old I am. <laughs> He could live to be as <laughs> he could live to be as old as a hundred and twenty, but not many of us live to that age. All right, it's Aaron. Aaron knows. Yeah, Aaron. Wait, I mean, so Spit's only twelve. It's true. Oh, it's apparently oh. in my character sheet. <laughs> but for what it's worth, we reach adulthood at six years old, so okay. it <laughs> checks out. It's Aaron knows. So, no, just, you know what? Let's take it more fun. It's not that. It's, it's I didn't. I didn't want to, you know, be like a super old kobold. I, I will get there one day, I guess. I don't know why keeps. I'm saying this all in voice, but it's all good. <laughs> Var keeps no. That's that's that. Let's make it more fun. Cause I'm gonna go annoy Aaron anyway. So let's mm -hmm. go make another destination on the route. It's definitely. Have you not slept that. yet, or is this still the nighttime? Still a night time. Okay. It's, I've been wondering. We're, it's like 4 p.m. at this point, isn't we're it? We're going to visit. Well, it's, it's definitely coming up uh, at least on 2 a.m., but it's very Really? Late. Really? <laughs> really? I, I feel like this is all happening very quickly. It's after, not. After, <laughs> after I would have helped uh, Spit with his arcade check, I went to bed. Because I want <laughs> sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I think we well, would be like, this is uh very cool and interesting I, i'd be like i'd be like coop you want to you need a place to crash for the night yes, we already yes. told him all right come come let's let's go i'll show you back yeah go i gotta sleep or else i get bags under my eyes <laughs> in their, in their handmade guess. rope bags <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay so the, was cooper with us at the um at the carnival? carnival? No. Yeah. No. Like no, 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 no. He was uh, Very watching briefly. the wall. Yeah. Briefly. And then I remembered okay. that I promised. That's, that's all right. I was just looking I was just looking back at the notes from the last session and I saw that um I had one that toad and then yeah. and then and then Cooper made me the little like Yeah. 
so, holster, and I was like, well, wait a minute, how did he make that? Wait, so Cooper was there long enough to, like, do the midway and stuff, and then when, like, the events <laughs> started, he went to the gate. <laughs> because we were like, wait, who's watching the gate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. <coughs> I have trouble going to bed then. All right. You go to bed. We've been to bed. We've been asleep. (laughs) You go to bed, and we're going to take five minutes here while you guys sleep so that I can get food and get pizza. Uh, We'll be back. Has it just been uh, sitting on your doorstep this entire time? Probably in the house. Um, We'll be back at 846 for the second half of this week's episode of In the Red.
Oats. Ooh, what? I've been right here and we're live again, so Yeah And we're you, back. You don't go live. Clearly people you have not been pay. paying attention people to in the red. People don't pay to watch me eat food for free on the internet. <laughs> oh, so wait a minute, there is a we gotta, we gotta go we gotta go to the OnlyFans. Wait, that. hold on. Exactly. Whoa. <laughs> wait. Wait, hold on. So you're t telling us there's a contingent of people that do pay to watch you eat food? Not yet, but my oh, jeans are open. The better, yeah. fu funnier way to say is I can never, I cannot confirm or deny that statement. <laughs> I plead, I plead the fifth. I'm, you know what? I'm no, open, this is... I'm ready. I have student loans to pay. <laughs> Every other Friday, my team at work, we have lunch o'clock where we get on Google on on unbranded video chat service <laughs> and, we, and, we, and we and we eat food at each other on a webcam eat and, food at each and, other and yeah. because and because it's it's actually really uncomfortable but uh, since I am at work I'm like technically blast. getting paid to eat money eat, or eat food at you, people you eat money you eat, at I people? just I words they're hard okay Phrases. <laughs> English language is really difficult right now okay <laughs> You gotta get that bag. You guys sleep, uh, and then you wake Finally! up. Finally, video <laughs> We've been asleep this entire time. It's does anything happen in the night? <laughs> no, the town is protected. Yeah, magically. Well, we don't know if there's like any thievery happening. No, I actually feel pretty confident that Anton's got a hold of it. Well, we're <laughs> probably. Well, while we're not busy distracting him from what he should be doing, this That's town rude. seems pretty well protected by his, however it's pronounced, the G-E-A-S. Yeah, he's been doing it. Gius. 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 Okay. Gius. Is Bruce just hanging out somewhere? Um, he's asleep. Yeah, he's been sleeping a while. <laughs> Everyone's asleep. He curled up next to a wagon at the carnival that says uh, the amazing uh, zoo. The Is amazing he, zoo? What, what it says the exotic <laughs> parade of wonder. <laughs> what, uh, what form parade. is he taking as he is sleeping? Oh, he's just being a regular dude right now. Oh, it's the dude, bro. Okay. He's still like 18 feet tall. He's still only 7 foot 8. Yeah, whatever. That's like I'm 18 just, feet. I'm me. just saying, as a druid, there are far more adorable ways he could be curled up hmm? and sleeping as a seven foot eight tall beast of a person. Could be. Beast man. He could yeah. be in a werebear form, too, and that'd be creepy. But... That'd be adorable. Well, it, adorable if you'd like bones. Just like poking out of places. Oh. I'm no. thinking of a dire I said bear. werebear, not, not yeah, dire bear. Yeah, it's different. Okay. It's all right. You'll get it. You're only like a druid. You shouldn't be expected to know stuff about nature. Oh, jeez. Hey, um, where's where's well, someone quit, call the Where's the quick button? button? It's right here. <laughs> I gotta go. So we got things to do. You slept, and now you're awake. It's the next day. Finally. <laughs> so we get in Morty's face. It's like, Morty, where were you? You were up until like three a two a m. Well, I gotta clear my blood. I imagine this is what I'm saying as I'm eating. Right? <laughs> it's just breakfast. <laughs> you, you you didn't actually sleep. You just been you started straight into breakfast. Yeah, I never there's no such thing as sleep. It's um, steel cut oats, but it was cut with just like daggers and whatnot. Ah. I look at you go, what do you mean? Uh we came we came from the carnival and Did you miss my sleep apnea? It, it, no, I wasn't gonna I wasn't Oh, that's right. You, we don't. We need more did things. You tell him that he snores? Did you tell him about that? We hadn't talked about that. I feel like I'm dying. We when haven't I'm talked sleeping. about it I'm yet. Not, no, we haven't. I, talked I'm about very it. aware. Of, like I sound like I'm dying when I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm aware of this. Did you miss me? Uh, where were you though? I was getting Bailey's. Um, no. <laughs> Some old Greg reference right there. It's oh, good. Greg! I'll keep moving. Um, I was talking with Anton. Yeah, what's his? Wait, well, wait. Was I? Th I was there for that, wasn't? For I? a portion of it, yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm very confused. What on earth I was doing? 
Where like, were did you, I, NX? No, I'm Where just like, you? in, in, uh, did I break the story by interacting with Anton while I was supposed to be asleep? Yeah. Uh, no, you broke the story by sleeping while you were supposed to be interacting with Anton. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't Wait, see I'm you. Sorry. Were you the thief? I'm sorry. Has this has this whole campaign struck you as something with hard, strong lore and canon, or okay, is it so just I like very the... relaxed? Wait, hold on, hold on. Are you <laughs> talking these 49 pages of notes that I've interacted with are not are just a lie to you? It could be. It could, this is all a dream. It's it's all how Morty has interpreted the series of events that have happened. Um. Anyway, Alex, what were you saying? Uh. Sh- well, I was about to ask Morty what uh, he was doing? talking about Anton about, but I just realized I was there for yeah, you, and I was there. also sleeping. Uh-huh. Yeah. So can I can I retcon this entire Are thing you to have my questions come out of Morty's mouth? <laughs> Does uh, it even matter? Who no. cares? It doesn't well, I'm going to ask you. You're telling Sorry, me you people want to go to bed, but you were there the whole time. Uh, and then you weren't asking questions, everything but you were still there the, the whole time. Everything's made up and the points don't matter. It's, it's yeah. whatever. Um, so, um, like, I, I get up, I yawn, I stretch. Um, and right. I ask yeah. where... <laughs> like, roll for it. Um, right. Athletics check right now. Um, it, it, should we go... Um, I think somebody needs to check on and how Bruce is doing. Um, but I also kind of want to. This is the first time we've woken up in our place in a while. Um, I kind of want to go downstairs and see if Bruce or uh, not Bruce, uh, if um, if Baron or Veruca need help with anything. Well, getting I'm the store ready for today. I'm already eating downstairs. Apparently, <laughs> we're. I keep on breaking the game further. No, you, you, I'm you already brought, downstairs. You brought food upstairs with you. I, I, like I'm just what do you think envisioning I am a you, savage. I'm envisioning you like in bed and just reaching over the nightstand and just shoving food in your mouth. <laughs> You're yes, taking apparently. a lot of things from the guy that can barely <laughs> breathe while 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 sleeping. Anyway, and you think he's gonna go thank back you. to his right, deathbed? Right. This, this, it's, it, this seems like you. it's going off track more than normal thank and not in a having, fun way. <laughs> so thank you for having spare beds, by the way. For for suddenly having planned ahead for suddenly having additional people in your party that you uh, didn't well, know you were going to have a month ago or whatever when I joined in-game. Well, I mean, I, I turn over to Baron and I go, well, I mean, there's a whole extra addition to here, and I think there was a point in time at some point where we might have become a second in if Macy and Gerald needed the overflow. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we've got we've got space for uh, 12. Yeah. Well, thank you all. Oh, that's working, more than before. I'm still yeah. working on the stabling. That ramp should be done by the end of the week. But excellent. Uh, yeah, 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 good job. Thank you. Should be done better next time. I'm not sure what kind of strange force forced that ramp to break, but here we are. <laughs> Indeed. Um, do you or Veruca need help uh, with anything getting set for uh, for the day? No. Oh, okay. Um, I, Morty and, and Coop here saw some pretty weird stuff going on last night. Um, oh yeah, there was like a trapeze guy and like some like fights. Oh, and, were you at the carnival too? Well, yeah, everybody, everybody was. At the yeah. Carnival. Um. Well, I, more more so, it, Morty and Coop didn't go to the carnival, and they saw some weird stuff. They were just mentioning um, oh, a tall and short. Yeah. <laughs> They were mentioning a tall and short figure um, uh, that that appeared to be pretty shady or shifty. Have there been any unsavory types of individuals that may have come by and bought a sandwich here? If they were unsavory when they got here, they were savory when they left. There's a lot of salt in the food. Ah, um, says, look at uh, this guy. He says, uh, hold on a second. He says, he's, he mutters to himself. He says, is there anybody? Do you think? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I turn over this to Coop. I turn over to Coop because I'm seeing the, the nervous system. I'm like, this is normal. Um, Baron, tell George we say hi. Uh, Barrett says, uh, we don't think we saw anything fitting strange description. I don't know. There's a lot of people that come through now, so... Yeah. I mean, everybody's a little strange, I guess, but... Do you feel safe here? Do do you feel safe here? We feel safe here. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, Barrett has a lot of capabilities. He can hold his own, and, I mean, and, and... 
like he and Veruca make a great team. Well, the three of us make a great team. Yeah. Hey, if something was unsavory, wouldn't it be sweet? Uh, is is savory <laughs> just the absence of sweetness, <laughs> or does it imply a salty? What if uh, it could also be bland? Right. Wait, somebody assaulted somebody. Oh no! I Are they know. a pretzel? No. Let's let's move on. Let's go over I don't to Roscoe. I don't, I don't want to sour the situation, but <laughs> uh, things can be sweet and sour at the same time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's yeah. just bitter. I would like yeah. to head to no. Macy's. Stop this! <laughs> I started it. I'm Stop sorry. Let's everything. go. I'm getting my stuff together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I got, um, I got shit to do. I uh, did it. They uh, now now that it's daytime, we're probably gonna go and say hi to everyone because that's what we mm. always do. When we're <laughs> you, guys, you guys are standing um, there talking, and okay. Veruca just like looks at you annoyed. Um, the look on her face is uh, it's like a tart look on her face. Yeah, and she's like, okay. Do you need help? Like, why are you giving um, us a bad look? Um, I just, I don't I don't know. It's fine. I'm sorry. I'm in a crabby at a crabby mood, but like, if there's if there's something you gotta say, to say it. Why are you in a sour mood? <laughs> I don't know because because uh, uh, things are not making sense and making me unhappy. Well, just because oh, you're just because you you're bitter with bitter circumstances in your yeah. own life doesn't stop life... making stop making sour jokes. I get it. I get when it. You know what? You've gives got you funny lemons. To eat Ooh, lemon. mommy. And I'm gonna say, hey, no, that's, I don't, I don't know what's not bothering you. We're not talking about that. <laughs> Either way, regardless of whatever happened, whatever's happening, the rest of this conversation, I don't really care. But if you're upset about something, just put it in the put. It, just tell us. Is there anything we I can was do to, to say, help you so, right now? I was about to say something really more mean, but I'm I'm taking it in stride. And uh, w- w- if there's something that you're not happy with, just tell us, and we can no, fix no, it. No, 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 everything's fine. Great. And then I slam the door shut. <laughs> 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 She, uh, she turns to more? the other four of you, and she's like, Did, were you all going to make the dramatic e- exit, or was he just going to do that on his own? Morty didn't get a lot of sleep last night, apparently, so we're going to, we're just going to go. Um, but, uh, but glad to hear that things are going well, that you don't need any help with anything. We're going to go over and see Roscoe, because it sounds like that we need to go see Roscoe for something. Mm-hmm. I'm and, yes. <laughs> You're going to Macy's, and we need to check out with Aaron too, in case anything may have happened as well. So, um, you're going to Macy's, okay? Because apparently Roscoe's only thirteen. No, 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 no. Roscoe is only thirteen. I know, but he gave me not enough info, and there's enough stuff we had to do with Roscoe anyway. I'm making Macy more important now. Okay. Because we're doing our daily rounds. Wait, so while we're walking, I'm like, so we're not going to Roscoe because you think that he's 13? No! I just stamp louder into the mud, I'm assuming it's on the ground. Is it, was it raining last night? Please say it, like, damply mid rain so I can stomp madly into the ground. I mean, it's dewy. Yeah, I did yeah, that into morning, the ground. Yeah. I'm like... Alright, so we open the door to Macy's. I didn't do that on Macy's door, I'll be very clear here. I was stamping. Yeah. Okay. I'm a child. So so we open the door to Macy's and I'm like super confused. I'm like, "Hi Macy, before we talk to you, how old are you?" What? I don't know. Marty didn't want to go over to Roscoe cuz he wasn't sure how old he was. So I'm now trying to make sure that we know how old everyone is. Old That's his face. To carry this on is a yeah, conversation. This is this you. face. He's like Okay. This, she this, says, this is she all says, good. Says, she says we're both old enough to carry on a conversation. Thank you. Oh, there you go. And I and like I slap I slap Morty on the on the shoulder. And be like, see, he's fine. Don't touch me. Oh, <laughs> Morty didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Oh, okay. Macy, I'm sorry. I'm. I hope you had a wonderful night last night. I have a couple questions. She says, first comes first. Here, and she hands you a drink. I ah. aggressively drink it. Yeah, uh, it is pretty alcoholic, but also has like a, a rejuvenating effect. Okay. Yeah. That I don't know if that it's coffee. What? It's like it's like it's a spiked <laughs> coffee. What is yeah. that? No, this is uh, this is Macy's up and Adam. 
Like Up it. and had him. It's like a good this. one. Oh, that's the thing from um the the non copyrighted movie where they go back to the future. <laughs> 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 where it's just Nailed where it's just a glass of whiskey with Tabasco dumped in it. It's the Ooh. wake up juice. Um <laughs> No, it's definitely not the wake up juice from Back to the Future. No, that would be copywritten and that it's, was, yeah. copy it's <laughs> Macy's up and Adam. It's the non copyrighted <laughs> drink where they go back <laughs> to the future. You're talking about a totally unrelated franchise. <laughs> Can we please can I get stay this on to track? go? Thank like you. I hand a, like I slide like I don't know what the price is. I slide like can I get this to go in like a can't just or bring it back when you're done. Well, can I get some to go? Like another flask. Of... She hands you two more. You're great. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like I put like sippy cup lids on them like, <laughs> so they don't drip. So they don't drip anywhere. And I'm like thank you. Um, hey. Uh, I'm just looking for info about this mm-hmm. this person named Mayor Lear, and apparently you're the person to go to for this. And Anton doesn't have much info, but apparently you might have some more, um, according to Brian's decision to let me to choose who had this in see. But, you know, I'm just trying to figure out who Mayor Lear is, or maybe some rumors you've heard about Mayor Lear. I don't know, he was the mayor of Bell for... I think forever. I don't know when... He Did you ever meet Mayor Lear? I never met him, but there's rumors of him being in uh, in charge of Bell for millennia. I don't know. Ooh, that's news. That's a lot uh, longer than Mayor Ornath. You know what race I mean, he was? Is was is? Um, I don't know. An angel? Who knows? I. I well, didn't know if it, if he took more of a humanoid form or took a different form in general. I've never I've never seen him. I don't did Anton know? Did Anton know? I don't know. I mean, did you ask? No, Anton? I, 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 I would have. Like, I, I didn't think of that con- that question, but I would assume like, be like, hey, who's what is Mayor Lear? Like, I don't want to do that while passing, but I assume I would have asked that question. I'm just. Um, Anton would have known that uh, he ha- he maintains a human form. Okay. Uh, but that is not his like true natural form. form. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But he has never seen the natural form. As, as one would expect. Um, cool. Is there any other information we could give us about Mayor Lear or any other rumors about Mayor Lear that you could point us to in general? I mean, he's got a pretty bad reputation around these parts now. For what? Oh. For being instrumental in going to war and getting a bunch of people killed. Oh. Can you care to explain he talked the Emerald Blades into becoming an organization that went to war, and then a bunch of people got killed. But yeah. don't you think the Emerald Blades were there for good, and then they, as a as a force of good, uh, combated evil? Um, I don't disagree with you. I'm just telling you the overall opinion Who, of the Emerald Blades in the region. Is there anyone that holds that staunch opinion that you know of? And I, I feel like I know a few people, but I'm going to see if she knows. Um, a staunch opinion that they were bad people. Uh, doesn't they don't they don't care for the Emerald Blades? I I mean I would guess that Ornath probably isn't particularly pleased. They sure. took his brother and uh, took a good deal of his town's population, and then they didn't come back. Okay. Do you know anything about his about Mayor Ornath's wife? She apparently died a few months ago. I don't. Is there anything? Yeah, I like hold that. Like I, I spread my clawed hands out in like a few months ago. Yeah, and I, l- I look at Spanish. That's what Anton said. Oh my gosh, I missed that part. Is it? Do you know <laughs> how just she before, passed? Maybe a month before you all showed up in town. So I guess maybe oh. longer than three. But uh, she was out on the road. I think she was either chasing down some bandits or trying to collect some some sort of reagents but um she went out with a couple of um a couple of folks they were killed and she came back pretty wounded i guess but didn't didn't live through her wounds when she got to town 
you mentioned that she was out either fighting like chasing bandits or collecting reagents did she work often with roscoe with some of the some of his work as well or was she collecting work for herself um you know spellcasting components and and alchemical reagents are similar but not always the same so Mm -hmm. um she also had a a pension for exploring notable sites but um, you think she got tied up with uh the chimera she might have i'm not sure she was to the north the chimera usually attacked the road to the east to the east yeah um we also know that we the chimera also had a very wide yeah that's true area um yeah, I'm not sure exactly what. And I know she came back wounded and, and succumbed to those wounds, but. <clears throat> um, Macy, as a completely different aside, um, as your um, have you heard any chatter of people missing things in town? Mayor Ornath was telling us about a concern of his, and uh, and um, Morty and Coop had seen some activity that kind of corroborates with that. No, I haven't heard anything about anything missing. Okay. I mean, keep an ear out if people are, like, starting to become agitated about missing stuff and whatnot. Sure. Because um, we could use whatever information that we have. Mayor or that's asked us to look into it. Um, I, uh, the, the biggest suspect was stuff that's going on with the carnival, and it doesn't look like, from what we found, that it's directly associated with the carnival, but they may, but whoever may be causing this to happen might be using the carnival as cover so just keep an ear out for us okay anything else i can do for you all right bring the boat bring the steins back when you're done i guess (laughs) yeah (laughs) all right and so Morty walks out, double fisting. Oh, and by the way, Macy, um, uh, Coop's staying with us right now in case you were curious about why he didn't show up to the end last night. Why would I be curious about... What? Uh, oh, because, I mean... Well, it, Coop... He's a well-capable young man. He doesn't have to check in with me. I don't know. Oh, I wasn't sure if he, like... I turned to Coop. I'm like, I, I wasn't sure if you, like checked in for a set number of days and then you lose your night's deposit and things like that. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, no. I usually just uh, ask if a room is open and then if it is, I give him some money. Yeah. She says, uh, yeah, a room's open? I don't... What no, is it's happening? cool. I've been... It's all good. All right. I enjoyed staying at your inn. It was pretty great. I liked the pillows. Oh, thank you. I work hard on them. I don't. Okay. It shows. All right. Great. We're gonna go to Roscoe's now. Okay. You head to Roscoe's, and he's fiddling over some kind of salt solution, some some sort of solube. Uh, and he's and we've established he's something. at least thirteen years old. Okay, so I go in and I go Roscoe. <laughs> I mm-hmm. need to know because Morty asked me this and I couldn't answer. How I'm old are you? Looking for what the hell? That... You asked me and now I need to know. I want to know how old you are. Two hundred and twenty-six. Holy mackerel! I like yell. I actually do. You're the oldest cobalt I know. Why don't you do an inside check? I'm gonna do an inside check because he actually two twenty-six. You're older than mm-hmm. like my grandma and my grandpa combined. Uh, 19? Is he actually 226? Uh, he does not appear to be lying. Oh my goodness! He says, uh, that doesn't surprise me. I come from a line of dragon rock kobolds. <gasps> I like... <sighs> pretend that I know what that means, and I get on my knees, and I, like, grovel in front of him. Don't so... do that. Get up. No, I, I mean special ability if i were to do it would special everyone ability. get advantage on any checks that involve him this this encounter i think it's just combat but like, no! <laughs> brian you're the dm <laughs> you get to make the hey, roscoe 
How much that dragon blood? blood? Yeah, no, I would. If I were the DM, I wouldn't allow it either. But it's it's something that literally came into my head as soon as I finished saying gravel. It was great. Um, How do my snapdragons look? They look amazing. How many, How many of, of them are? Uh, Thirteen. <gasps> so many. So That's a what's lot. The, what's the story with the snapdragons anyway? Should we I bought one. Notes? Kind of oh. like how you have a frog, which means in due time no, you'll have 13 toad. frogs too. It's a toad. And toad. That's not, that's not how toads uh, reproduce, but. I'll tell that too. I mean, that's. <laughs> R- R- so, like, in, in Spitz's mind, do, do they just, like, cleave in half and now there's two toads? Yeah. <laughs> and then the other halves grow back and then you cut those in half? <laughs> no, no, no. That's not toads. That's nematodes, Spit. Anybody? Ah. Okay. Um, nobody. Right. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> go, 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 go. Um, the only so we show to, to cross the bridge from Nickelodeon to Disney in the nineties. I know. Please. Yeah. Um, I I also ask, hey, Roscoe, we got you. I I'm reminded as you're working on this this solution here. I'm mm. reminded now that we brought you a bunch of Chimera things a while ago. Were they useful for you? And have you been able to successfully? Do anything with them? Um, yes, I made some uh, some cold solvents oh, for yeah. weapons and. What did you do with the regenerative gland? The regeneration thing, yes. Um, well, I made it into. I took the gland and I made it in. I, I crystallized it and made it into an alchemical substance that can be used uh, by uh, spellcasters in the manufacture of. Uh, rings with regenerative properties or some uh, other such items. We know spellcasting manufacturers. Do, mm-hmm. do you? Wait, what? Oh, he's very good, though. I mean, you... it's the, the, the spells were great, just not what they were supposed to do, so maybe... What? Oh, like, like, like if it were healing word, it would just be like the... the the foot coming it would be down the word on somebody's healing. face. It would be Floating the word in the healing. air. <laughs> That's a really good one, actually. A foot yeah. coming down. Um. All right. Um, and now, the real reason that why we're here, um, we just asked Macy about um, Mayor Lear. Um, do you happen <laughs> to know anything about the, for- the former slash current mayor of Bell? Um... Sure. Yes, he was a he was a cardinal. Uh, to my cardinal, cardinal. Um, I I don't know what kind of cardinal, but it's a it's a type of celestial being. Oh. Um, I'm not sure how long he had been here. Um, I haven't heard from him since you know. Um, but uh, as far as I know, he 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 was in charge of Bell as long as. Because I've been alive, I don't know what before that, but y- yes, Morty. What's a cardinal? It's like a celestial being. Celestial. It's like a being from the heavens that um, protects the, the the different types of cardinals have different responsibilities. Um, Is but, there an equivalent uh, to that, like in a uh, fey magic that I would maybe understand? Yeah. Like I turned over to him, like, is it kind of like the guardian of the works? I mean, the I didn't, woods? I didn't know if it was like I was more looking at like, hey, there's like solars, there's all those other things. Like, is a cardinal? Where is that on that list? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you are thinking of, um, they they line up with the with the angels, uh, but they are not uh, they're not always lawful. They're good, but um, they're while the angels uh, have specific rules and regulations that they are by and large there to enforce. Cardinals have uh, general notions they are responsible for, and are more um, um, what's the word utilitarian in that regard. Um, you get the idea that there she's she's. Or that he that they are indicating that cardinals are uh, chaotic ne- or n- neutral good rather than lawful good. 
Uh, they say there's several types, to my knowledge, but I don't know much about them. I'm not. I'm pretty uh, educated, but I don't know. I've. I mean, I, I've never been to the heavens, for instance. I don't know. Hmm. What what happened with the closure of the? I'm assuming. It is a wild assumption that Roscoe would know about the, like the rapture essentially that happened. For the what was, the, what was it? What was the formal name of it? It was like, the removal of deitic de de feature or figures. Oh, like the breach that happened. No, the breach. Yeah, the breach. Would that would would, he him knowing about the breach? Is that a um, was that a be a wild thing to know about? Let me find out. Hmm. Uh, he says, uh, no, the breach was a thing where... Um... So, with the breach happening years ago, were these Gardinals more more present beforehand, or did they kind of exist independent of the breach? Um, they, none of them came during the breach. If they were here, they stayed when the breach was created. Um, the Gardinals... Are uh, they they um, they have a tendency to be more protective of the things that they are given purview of? They're more territorial in that regard. Where angels are very focused on the heavens per se, um, the cardinals were uh, more protectorate, I suppose, rather than. Do you know the Verdant Prince? Do I know what? The Verdant Prince. Oh yeah. Is that a, uh, what is, what is, mm. no, I don't know what that is. What is that? Okay. I was going to ask if you believe that he might be a, uh, be a, um, cardinal. <clears throat> Ooh. Hmm. I don't, I don't know who that is. It's someone that protects a vault in the forest. Vault. Like a fey vault? Yes. Yeah. Um, but you may mention the fact that this, these kind of creatures are so, somewhat of celestial beings with general rules oh. ideas and utilitarian beliefs that does this person, could that person be in fact a cardinal more I so mean, than a face spirit? I mean, I don't, I haven't heard of any non fake Bruce! <laughs> like, <laughs> you hear like something, you hear in the distance, you're, huh? Question! <laughs> 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 Uh, clearly, you're waking him up by shouting at him through three. All right. Words. Um, <laughs> you hear <laughs> from like the barn next to uh, the apartment next to the inn across the street. What? That's a cardinal. It's like a celestial. It's like a king. celestial. Th I don't know. It's not a fae thing. <laughs> is Verdant Prince of <laughs> Is Verdant Prince a, gar a cardinal? No, he's a fae no. thing. Oh, okay. Are there fey versions of cardinals? I mean, maybe. I don't... I hear the forefront of knowledge, that's why I'm asking. That's unfortunate. Um, <laughs> so, I Would don't you know, like to be uh, the I mean, founder of this knowledge? I mean, maybe... Uh, cardinals? I don't know. Like that, That's not kind of the same kind of paradigm. It's a different paradigm. I, <laughs> I go for the rest huh. of... In a completely unrelated thing, um, it, it, has there been anything missing in your shop recently? Um, Mayor Ornath had informed us that there have been like some instances of thievery in town since the carnivals come in, and he's asked us to investigate it. Um, we don't seem to see anything directly associated with the carnival, so we're worried that the perpetrators might be using it as cover. Oh. Um, no, I don't... feel like does a quick inventory he says I, I don't i don't think so i think everything's here okay um starts to I like mean... count bottles on the shelves it's like 37 42 <laughs> 61 92 wow you count bottles really fast for a 226 year old um that's really good i couldn't even do that um well that it comes with age i guess yeah it's know. true we're all just um, over in the corner looking really awkward as you're saying, <laughs> just openly saying this, and we're like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So, I mean, just obviously keep an eye out. Um, it, like, be wary of folks that are coming in. Um, mm -hmm. And just keep it in mind if there's anybody that looks... That looks shifty and such, um, mm -hmm. because we can use every bit of information that we can get. Okay. So, do you know any cardinals? What? I'm yelling at. I'm still yelling at, at Bruce. At Bruce. It's like, yeah. Um. I guess I met this guy Lear once. <laughs> How'd you think of him? Seemed all right. I don't know. I'm gonna come closer to you, okay? I, yeah. So we don't have to yell. Sure. Have we ever had an interaction with Bruce where we're not screaming? <laughs> no. It doesn't look like it. I mean, we're you, batting O it for depend, whatever. It depends, on, time. it depends on what you mean by interaction. You encountered him when he was unconscious. True. Okay. And then we were yelling at him. I got a hat for you, Bruce. Okay, you're right. What? I show up. No, you like, you like walk hat. into a barn. He's laying on like a big bale of straw. And I hand him a bowler's cap. Why? This isn't gonna. I'm big. Okay. You thank you. you for that. <laughs> I was I was gonna sit there until he took that. Well, while they while they left, I I want to ask Roscoe a question. Yeah. Hey Roscoe, uh, do you know how to make gunpowder or like smoke powder? I'm sorry, I don't know what oh, that what word powder? means. What? Yeah. Do you know how to? So you you you've made firebombs before, right? Yes. The stuff inside, how it explodes, right? Uh, they don't explode. They oh, just well, ignite. That stuff that ignites, and it's explosive, right? No. No. Do you know how to make explosive stuff like that? Maybe. I could... Do you think you could make powdered explosive stuff? I could try. I don't know. I need... Like this crystallized resin from these mushrooms. It's very Jesus. explosive. You pull it out and he's like, oh god, why is this back? Like, <laughs> like that was the last season. <laughs> I thought we were done with that. You found a more concentrated version of it? What is wrong with you? He says, I mean, I I could I could try. I don't this seems like a really bad idea. I just I just I just an explosive type thing. Do you think like a powdered explosive? Do you think you can make something like that? Probably. Take that with you. I'm not doing it with that, though. No, no, no. I, not with this. I'm going to play with this. You don't need to play with that. So I don't recommend that, but okay. Okay. Um, Sounds good. <laughs> give, Maybe? Me, give me a week, and I'll see what I can do. Uh -huh. How much? I don't know. It depends on the cost of materials. He like Just gets a menu out and it says like current lit, current market price on it. Like it says, I think I think I can like modify like a mining explosive. How on a scale of oh that's cute to oh my god where did the city go? How big a boom are you looking for? I'm I'm looking for a smaller boom to like push a projectile down a a tube, like a cannon, but smaller. Oh. Like a small cannon. All right, I like mean a probably small cannon. a small handheld cannon. A, a small handheld hand hand cannon. Yes. Like a hand. You realize you might hand. lose your arm, right? Oh. Okay. Eh. Well, I'll see what I can do. I guess. Cool. Ah. Thank you part of the plan and then i i go and i join the rest of the crew who are talking of, to bruce is part of the spear of the moon's uh restorative abilities so i can like poke a blown off stump with like the tip of it and just the arm just grows back what never mind right carry on oh stump as in the stump of his arm not right. yes. a tree stump it's like, why would poking a tree stump make his arm grow back? <laughs> oh, it doesn't. That's why. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Shall we go over to Aaron's? I mean, Morty's with Bruce. What are you doing with Bruce? Other than giving him a hat? About, uh, yes. Gardinal. Oh, he says, I don't know what a Gardinal is. Oh. I mean, I, don't, I, mean, I think they're like... Mayor Lear? Yeah, he's... 
I think a gargoyle, but that's is about he still all I know alive? About. How would I know that? I don't know. I I'm just asking you. I don't know why you give me lip back. I'm just asking questions. I don't know if he's still alive. Okay, thank you. God, I don't know why this interaction's gotta be hostile. And look at him. This is I don't I I mean may, maybe like he swore to protect Bell as long did as you, the walls did, held, but did you? Oh, see... that was it. So he swore to protect Bell as long as the walls held. What happens if the walls fell? Fell? Do you have any info about that? Do you have anybody no. we can interrogate about this? I think it just means that he won't exist anymore. Yeah. I don't. I don't have any idea. Why don't you go? You've got Emerald Blades in town. Go talk to them. They. I did. He doesn't remember. We'll go talk to the other Emerald Blades. I look at Coop. No, no, no. What? Not him. The other, other Emerald Blades. The ones you told what? me about underground. Yeah. Of those. Yeah. Are those blades underground? He like, yeah, he, like, kicks a fence that's in the middle of the road that's not attached <laughs> to anything with a gate. And he said, he says, the one that is underground. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, do you know what he's talking about? Yeah, we gotta take you No to, idea what like you're talking about. Thing. And It'll I wink home. at Spit. Oh, yeah. I he loudly can... wink, where you can hear my eyes wink. I'm like, Ew, like ASMR like... <laughs> eye blinking? <laughs> like... Ew. Speaking of hey, ASMR, welcome. Jake, if you keep eating popcorn with your mic <laughs> unmuted, I'm gonna eat you into the sun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, let's go to Aaron. Spit, make, Don't a, it. <laughs> make a perception check, Spit. Perception. 14. Um, you look over and you see a group of four individuals. Four. Um, one of whom is a little bit taller. Um, but they are checking in with the gate. Uh, with Anton, um, and they're slowly kind of milling about and coming toward the business district. Um, I, it, where is Bruce and us? Uh, Bruce is in your barn. That's where okay. he slept. Um, you are leaving your barn and like kind of walking. Um, they're like, like they're like maybe a half mile down the road. Like, it's at a distance. Maybe not a half mile, but it's at a distance. But like, they're in. There's like four cloaked individuals. One of whom is about six foot, maybe six uh -huh. foot four, and the rest seem to be shorter than that. Tall guy, short guys. There. Wait, hold on. It's four. It's one tall guy and three short guys. Um. Sure. Yeah, I oh. turn over to to Morty and <laughs> they look exactly Morty like you. No, yeah, really. and, I, and, I, and I go over to them like we are in big trouble. <laughs> and so, um, I like I I put my I put my claw to my lips and I cast invisible on myself. Mm -hmm. Um, and appears too. Yeah, he just he, I'm invisible now. You're invisible and, and you hear Bruce go, Oh, where'd the dragon go? <laughs> I go, shh. Um, because I'm not inaudible. All right. Um, um oh, and I like <laughs> make I make my way um downtown. Yep. Yeah. Walking yes. walking dude, stealthily. I'm walking stealthily. Walking stealthily. Um, um and I He's am observant. I'm I am yes, it's true. Um <laughs> I am a. I have the observant feet. Are they talking to each other right now? Um, they are talking to each other in I'm, a language I don't think you understand. What languages do you speak? Mm, draconic, common, oh. and gnomish. No. You think you pick up a couple of like? Clearly, there are some like cognates with gnomish, but you don't. Um, you're not sure. Like you hear every like twelfth word. Um, okay, but you can't really make it. it's not enough to like have any context. 
Um, in, in my, like, advance towards um, While Invisible, um, do I have a better visual description of who these folks are, what they're wearing, what race they are, and other things like that? Um, they are wearing cloaks uh, with kind of, like, high hoods, seemingly to keep the sun off their faces. Mm-hmm. Um, one of them appears to be... Um, a minotaur frankly i don't know how to oh. like i don't know how to like make that less obvious I, I don't know how to solve yeah. that up uh, nope. one of them is a minotaur and uh the other three are um i guess like just under five foot tall um one of them is moving with a pretty uh aggressive limp um the others are not i guess um they're pretty like hardy looking folk. You get the idea they're probably dwarves. Okay. Yeah. Um, so they're not talking in a tongue that I understand. You get so... the idea they're probably speaking dwarven. Because you yeah. know that dwarven and gnomish are related. Exactly, but it's not gnomish and that's all that matters to me. Um <sighs> So I go and um do, do any uh, one's walking with a limp um, do I get any hints of um, I want to say smell for some reason is there any yeah do they smell a particular way <laughs> Um, I think they, there's like a metallic smell to them, almost like, um, it's like dirt and metal a little bit. Okay. Um, it's tough to like, I guess kind of place. I grew up in a house that was down the street from like a metal cutting plant. So I don't know if you're familiar with like the smell of like oil and like metal shard, like metal like strips. Okay. But yeah. it's like that kind of like metallic scent. Um, I get, I get the the sense that you're that you're describing. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right, I I make my way back. Do they look hungry? Uh, I, I'm gonna say you didn't really get close enough to like Good call. judge the current hunger and sleepiness of this group of. Marauder, I mean, um, visitors. Are there way, are there any distinguishing markings on their cloaks? Like how the bandits had their symbol? No, these appear to be like traveler's cloaks, like intentionally nondescript. Got it. Um, which is kind of a silly thing to say when there's a minotaur involved. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. All right, I go back to the group and I say, guys, 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 I saw this minotaur and these... I originally thought that they were short, but when I got closer, they were, like, close to five feet. So they're they're taller. Um, they don't give me a good vibe at all. We should probably keep an eye on them. Um, yeah, um, there's four of them. And Morty Coop, you said that there were two folks that you saw scaling the wall last night. Yeah. Hmm. Sure. So I don't know if they've brought in more. Like, if this is them, I don't know if they're bringing in more to try to do more. But we should keep an eye on them. Yeah. Well, you said there was no. They. Uh, you alerted to us that the conversation the, uh, the conversation held between you and a piece of paper said that it shouldn't be anyone thieving so that works with the carnival but it but they could be people who are using the hustle and bustle do of the they carnival. have carnies the, does the carnival have carnies like in terms of like do they have like almost like groupies exist do they have a constant following and that's information I don't think oh. we know yeah I don't know I think it would be tough to, like, based off the information you have, it would be tough to make that call because so many people are just traveling in and out of town right now that you don't recognize. 
So there's not a really good way to real to like discern if they're traveling through town because they follow the carnival, or, or if, if it's they're, because they're just they're in, in the town. same direction. Yeah. yeah. Felt good to get an O out of Brian. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, let's um. Get check out Aaron's. I was gonna say let's check out Aaron's. Um. Maybe I should stay back and just continue to keep an eye on the folks and see where they go, or should we all go together? It's your call. I think it's safer to stay together. I think or so too. I could watch him. Cause no, you, not... I feel like we know enough people that they they would like a cloaked figure seems kind of out of place in this town. That's true. I mean, it I is getting to be a chilly season. Invisible. Yeah. But like a minotaur they, as well. I mean, that's Are they all is. four the same? Are they matching cloaks? Like, I'm, I'm matching yes and no, insofar as like none of them are like particularly dis, dis, like discerning, yeah, they're, right? They're, they're all like They're trying cloaks. to not be. Yeah. But are, I should well, say well, that like I, a lot of folks are wearing cloaks because it's like the the anathema equivalent of like mid October. It's pumpkin yeah, spice sure. lattes. Well, I guess I guess what I'm asking are like uh, are they, um, are they just like plain just like brown cloaks or whatever? Just, just like, they're like, they're like, they're like charcoal yeah. colored cloaks. <clears throat> yeah. And they say like McCready's gang on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have they, a history uh, of where of why they're here? Just like uh, the, on their all of them have badges on their, their shoulders that say says the thieves you're looking for. No, <laughs> yeah. um, no it's it's tough. Uh, make a make a perception check, Alex. Can I help them? Because I was like looking at them. Yep. I'll give you a dance. Yeah, that would I'm be also... wonderful because that roll was terrible. That one's a lot better. Uh, that is the wrong page. Uh, um, um, uh, how does this work? 20. It's a 20. dirty 20. Yeah, so uh, you look at first and you think, oh, it's like a dark charcoal colored gray cloak. And then you look again and you realize, like, no, it's just like a pretty neutral cloak that is very dirty from char- from coal, like from oh. dirt. So, okay, the first place, I- I'm glad you mentioned that the first place my mind went with this was that the, the coal mine that we spent couple months back mm-hmm. a bunch of time in uh it doesn't look that black okay like the coal from that mine is a shadow black. Yeah. um okay okay and there was there was a there's a um another mine many here. south of here that we have not that you haven't explored yeah that, that we like collectively have not explored okay Do I would I have known that? Like, do I am I how familiar at this point? How familiar am I with the area? Because I know you're not super oh, familiar. I point out but the like, map people that we have, have like shouted about this iron mine while you've been around because they have a map that has a thing called iron mine on it. <laughs> they're like, it's an iron mine. Like, it's they have not been subtle about the fact that there's an iron mine. Okay. It's about halfway down. It's on the west side of the Ironwood, about halfway down to the lake, about midway th- through like north to south. The mm. We haven't made it that way yet. Nope. Soon. All right. TM. Um. <clears throat> so, well, that's. The, yeah. The, okay. That's where my mind is going. With yeah. It. That's good at Aaron, I guess. Um. And I and I will choose to <clears throat> remain invisible and keep an eye on the folks. Um. Okay. So you guys go ahead. Cool, cool. Cool. Yeah. Let's go talk to Aaron. Let's go ruin her day. <laughs> All right. You guys. Everyone but Spit uh, enters Aaron's shop. Hi, Aaron. Oh, hey guys. Hey, you're Hi. back. Hey, how's it going? Uh, oh, okay. I hear you guys are commissioning some lumber camp folks to start that route again. 
Yeah, hopefully we they'll felt die good less for you. than the last group. What? Oh, um, what? Why do you guys oh, say? Yeah. Uh, uh, they'll be fine. We we we've got some uh, guards that are going to be going it's, with them. It's as a well. safer. It's safer now. Yeah, it's. We'd like safer. to leave. It's safer now. Oh, okay. We, we we also got rid of the like dreadful, you know, spore fungus infestation there as well. Cool. So. Yeah, that Bingus. should be sent not here. Make that not around anymore. It well, we did our. We we believe that we have uh, gotten rid of that, and uh, we want to make sure if it's cool with you that be able to make sure that you get your your business up and going again in a more robust manner. Well, that'd be and, great. Um, because we're excited to uh, see what you can do. Of course, um, if there's ever a point in time where you don't want this anymore, let us know, and we can divert any. Uh, and what I was saying is like, if if you don't want any more wood, we can. You can remove. find another place to send it. Yeah, or you know, we can move resources accordingly. Like sure, yeah, no, that's uh, that's great. I uh, I appreciate uh, you guys it's opening up to you. the mo- opening the lumber camp, and I appreciate take it as a personal favor that you dealt with the kind of terrible for so the greater good. Yeah. Um. I had a really quick question for mm-hmm. you. A couple of questions, I think, from everybody. But um, I didn't know if you knew anything about Mayor Lear. I don't know much about him. I know there's a lot of like stories about him, but I didn't. I never really bought into much of all those. What you also know about Bruce? Before. What's up? What you know about Bruce? I know he's a druid. I know he's. I think he's spoken to you a couple giant? times, right? I mean, yeah, I've I've been down to the Ironwood before. He's. You know, I went down okay, cool. with, well, you know. Yeah. Um, he says, uh, she says, um, I think there's more to him than meets the eye, although there's a lot to him that meets the eye. Um, Those statements are very true. But I don't know much of the details. It's not really my purview. I try to stick to furniture, mostly. Uh uh, another quick question. Mm-hmm. Um, has there anything... <sighs> hmm. As you're talking, she looks distracted. Is there anything in particular she's looking at, or she just seems uh, like she's Cooper? off in her own head? She's staring at Cooper. I'm not oh. going to say anything. <laughs> I'm too short to notice. Okay. Hey. Oh, hey. sorry, sorry, sorry. Is there, are, you, are you good? I'm fine. He, mm, okay. He, he what? Um, no, he's just, you're Who? very fit, sir. Um, Thank you. Oh, Aaron, uh, this is Coop. Uh, he's going to be. Oh, you're talking about Coop. Yeah, 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 this is Coop. I mean, you're also very, very muscly. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks. Whoa. Sinewy. He's he's gonna be uh, joining us in some adventures. Oh, hope hopefully. I I feel like that's good. I feel like maybe that will uh, help you out. I guess. I don't know. I feel. Uh, she like starts to flush, and she's. I feel very silly right now. Um, is there? What can I? What can I do for you? We we were just coming to check in, see if you do anything. Um, is is so this is like third part or third person is Aaron, so Aaron is a furniture crafter not like a uh, like how good of a woodworker like she could she make she's a fantastic stock? she's a very good woodworker right so could she, she make, like, so she like the furniture she makes is very ornate and like carved furniture mm-hmm. um, she made the carts for a while she's been like doing like carts and like helping fix. Her and craft she's a was... competent she's a competent like general Good carpenter worker. yeah but like her specialty was like furniture crafting did and she even say like, like carving inlays and all of that stuff did you say yeah. like the lack of her furniture is more surprising than anything else the what like, like her furniture is known like throughout a good chunk of the region yeah, yeah. so her 
she is known throughout she was known throughout the continent like she's probably one of the main driving forces for all the trade in town is her furniture is like like continentally regarded um but like the trade routes were too dangerous to really pursue it so now that the trade roads are open like there's a lot of travel coming in by way of rainwall and the empire but kind of from all over um trying to like put in orders for for furniture for her like it same it, it, it's the kind of thing where her schedule is already pretty booked okay cool but yeah no we'll we'll be we'll be around uh faith hey you know we'll come back and say hi I, again we just want to check in uh, see how you were doing oh nx yeah sorry uh yeah. i i so i had been i remember that i had heard about bruce for quite some time like i knew of him before we mm-hmm. uh engaged in some of these antics that we've been engaging in sure do i get the same weird vibes off bruce that aaron does you don't get the same weird vibes because you know for a fact that he's a werebear like you have seen <laughs> oh, him be okay. a werebear it doesn't seem like she's like a werebear <laughs> like clued into that like she's like there's something to him that's not quite normal but you're like oh yeah it's because he's a werebear but she doesn't know so so okay can i then i would like to like so okay aaron i want to i'm gonna do so so i'm a druid he's a druid Mm -hmm. just i don't want to alarm you but let's we we have this and then i i wild shape into a bear dick myself bird. a dick bird like oh yes i that, that's even better i i wild shape into a dick bird oh, and, a shoebill stork it just what? looks like a muppet what is, what is happening and then i i, I unwild shape like this is a thing we can do like we can we no, can no 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 can... i know that druids can turn into things i didn't know you could turn into that <laughs> I don't know why like, you would I, want to turn into that. A but, shoe bill well, story. It was <laughs> that thing was scary. Wow, wow, wow. It, it, they're not wow. scary. They're just they're just they're just they're just no. <laughs> they're, they're just really, misunderstood. They're really scary. ill-tempered and just I mean, but it has they wings. look fake. It's you gotta really warn me before you do that, man. <laughs> that wasn't cool. But I just I just want to clarify with Aaron that like this is. Aaron says, it's just an odd choice, really. I mean, like, it's fine. I mean, everybody's got their their own, you know, eccentricities, right? Yeah, Uh, No, I'm aware that he's a druid, and druids can turn into animals sometimes. I don't, there's something else to him that I can't quite place, but, but I know that, like, that's a thing he could do. I mean, not that specific, I mean, he probably could, but I'm not sure he would. That seems like more of, like, your kind of it's, flavor you know um, it's, it wasn't really my choice it's just it's kind of it's it's a choice that's been put on me i see I'll put it that way uh so you know it's you know we have our we all we all have our own preferences right yeah you know if you feel like there's something off about him i feel like he's probably a pisces hey he's a fish like can I probably can I like wild, a Pisces? I want to wild shape into that catfish that I was a while ago. Oh god, <laughs> that's even worse than the dick bird. Is... <laughs> At least I know what that is. <laughs> but out of water, so I just right. just so, around. Around. A- well, yeah. Aaron, Aaron, I'm gonna I'm gonna add to this craziness. Have... We're worried that there's At least I'm worried that there's some potential um, problems happening with the carnival. And I'm going for it. Um, I want to make sure that your um, storefront is safe. Mm-hmm. And ha- has there been any weird things happening in the last few weeks? Um, I mean, orders are up, but other than that, in terms of potential, not to cause alarm, but break-ins or anything like that, can you just make sure that everything is in order in your own shop uh, for us? I'm she just like trying to looks around. She, like, checks all her tools, goes through her, like, inventory of raw materials. She's got, like, four, like, pieces of furniture, like, currently in progress. She says, no, I don't think. She's like, is is there a cart out front? I don't know. Like, 
I don't How? think so. If there was one, it's it's good. And then like there's like know, a just... cart. You're like leaning on it. You're like if there was a cart, it's gone now. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> cool, great. That's that's very good for to know. Um, just be aware moving forward. Yeah. You know, yeah if... There have been some issues. We just want to make okay. sure that you're aware. And if I don't want to cause alarm once again, but mm-hmm. we're um, we're trying to look into any problems that are occurring in town. Mm-hmm. Um, that might be happening, may or may not be happening. We don't know, but we uh, um, we want to make sure everybody's safe. Sure. Spit. <clears throat> As you are observing these dwarves, you notice that the one with the limp gets out like a. He's like holding a couple of gems, and he gets out one of those like the doodads, you know? Yeah. Um, and he kind of, like, fiddles with it to do, like, a focus or whatever on it. And then, like, seemingly absent-mindedly, he, like, picks it up while he's still looking through it and, like, looks directly at you. No! And he's like, huh. And we'll find out more about that next time. (laughs) On in the oh. red. Uh, thanks yeah, everybody for we, we, hanging out we, yeah. and playing with us and watching. Uh, we'll be back in a week for the next episode of In the Red. Uh, a week from today is the seventh of September. Um, what we... happened to August? August was uh, like two dude, weeks. Dude, I don't know. We we need I'm a miraculous sad. thing to happen real quick. Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. That's the one thing. We, I don't care how you do it, but we're catching in a. Mar- uh, I already called right it, now. man. No, 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 no. Yeah, you he did. No, no, please. It's already called. Brian, <laughs> don't he was do trying to set it up beforehand. I was trying to, and you didn't allow me to. Oh. When did I not allow you to? The whole time. <laughs> you didn't bring it up at all. I literally put in chat a miraculous thing was going to happen. He's not looking at chat. He did put it in chat. Where? I put at 1045, I said, something miraculous is happening tonight. 945, but yeah. 945, whatever. Oh, I'm in I Eastern see. time. Hmm. <laughs> All right. A what minute is, after. What is your aims? Like, what is the goal of this miraculous thing? I don't know. Well, whatever you want. No, like you gotta tell no, me. We have had to, a yeah, talking a ram show up. I don't know what you. Um. <sighs> okay, so yeah, the, mira- the miraculous like, the miraculous thing. thing has to solve a problem that you are uh, like have something to do with a problem you are currently. I, I have I have no idea. What my to- I have no idea what my toad's name is. Veruca. Oh yeah. Give it a name. That's uh, the miraculous thing. Fred. Veruca and that. Fred. Fred. Fred That's the not toad. the only Fred one. The toad. But whatever, I think and, I channeled my. And this. the toad is enlightened. Oh God. What? That's not oh, no. all that's getting solved no. here. Is that no. not? No, it's not everything that's getting we solved had a, here. We had whatever another... Veruca's problem is is I mean, now going to be very quickly solved. I so she can okay. deal with that. She that's was what just I jumping feel. on the pun wagon, but that's fine. She well, was. She, can, she was. She can be un uh, un jerk face to me when we I'm a jerk face to her. So, yeah. whatever her stick in the mud is, she can get pull the mud out or pull the she stick out. She was trying to gingerly care. dance around the subject. But, um, so, I would say the miraculous thing that happens is Veruca's able to come up with no, let him a it. hot new dish. He's asking for, me, for us no, to no, give him a lead. No, I'm asking you for a lead. Yeah, yeah it's Veruca. A Veruca, she's come up period. with a hot new dish, and we're able to... Okay, fine, period, You're giving him you too want. much. Um, because he's asking it from no, it's us. Veruca. Veruca. Whatever Veruca's problems are, they're solved. We, they're we solved? are just as much a part of the <laughs> storytelling no, component. I want Brian to figure it out. I, swear I, don't, I don't know what no, your No, he's goal giving is. us. He's literally giving us I this know. for free. Bro, I'm giving him a hand so, grenade. He can deal with it. All right, it. well, hey, then no well, miraculous thing happens. I will, there yeah, I will grab that hand grenade now <laughs> and say. That's the miraculous thing. Veruca, is that nothing right. miraculous happened. Exactly. Um, he, he's. So Veruca is coming up with this awesome new recipe while the circus is in town, and it drives. No, I've got it figured out. Well, you'll find out what miraculous. You maybe you'll a miraculous thing has happened, but you still have to discover what it is. Perfect. We'll deal with awesome. it. Awesome. Thank you. Next time on in the red. <laughs> um, 
Join us uh, next week on the 7th. Did I say 7th? I said 7th. Uh, Where we'll find out maybe what miraculous thing happened, but maybe not. Um, We we are taking Monday off from Storm King's Thunder for the holiday, so don't join us then. Uh, But join us for that on the 13th. Uh, But here first. This is better. They're both good. Um, Find us on Patreon, where you can create your own phase spirit. Um, at $15 a month, you can create your own uh, opportunity for them to have a reroll at $3 a month. There's some stuff in between. Uh, if you want to edit that face spirit to something else, uh, we can talk about that too. Uh, but that is the that. Uh, find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Those are all things we do. Um, you two, uh, I put all of the past episodes of In the Red. Uh, we are all caught up on YouTube. So all of the In the Red episodes are on YouTube now. If you want to go binge this debacle, uh, please go do that at youtube.com slash initiative coffee company. Other than that, go to the website, buy coffee, support Jasper's Game Day, support... Uh, Rise Above the Disorder, and support Initiative Coffee Company. Have fun, play safe, and until the next time, roll together. Thanks, guys.